halfway through my sentence. How are you guys going? <laughs> you good? Yeah! I'm okay! <laughs> I'm okay! <laughs> That's how you start? I'm, so, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to... I'm so sorry. Oh, Hayuka, good morning! How are you guys going today? Today we are watching... Ooh! Vita Carnus. Spooky! I feel like I've said Vita Carnus at least like 16 times ever since yesterday. It's kind of freaking me out. She's got the glowing eyes. Spoopy. Yeah, we're we're full spoop mode today. Ignore the uh, unspoopy music. That's just to, you know, get you ready for the cosmic horrors ahead. Yeah! I learned how to growl because I was bored. I learned how to growl because I keep getting... Uh, I keep getting phlegm in my throat. <laughs> and the best way to clear your throat is obviously to growl. Right? Ah! <laughs> Is that how you growl? I don't know. I've asked a bunch of people about growling in their songs. And some of them have just been like, that's not growling. It's different. <laughs> that's different. That's not growling. But it feels like growling, so it's good enough. I'll take it. <laughs> Eldritch abominations beyond mortal comprehension and understanding. Let's go! Let's go! Yay! <laughs> Try roar. 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 <laughs> oh, my body is breaking apart. Okay, hold on. I'm back from yesterday. Welcome back. I didn't know you spoke Spanish. Huh? Did I speak Spanish? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. New stream to cure my sadness. Yay, yay. I hope you feel better soon. I'm so sorry you got you got some sadness in you. It's alright. I hope I hope you feel better. She just did the raw. <laughs> it means I love you in dinosaur. <laughs> I'm betting like a dollar Yuka's gonna cry. A dollar? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. Carnus sounds like you're saying meat. I'm pretty sure that's what it means, right? Carnus? Carnus is meat? Vita? I think it's life. Like lifeblood? Living? I think it's uh, living meat. Actually, I'll be honest, I, I stumbled upon this... I stumbled upon this series, like, in a really funky way. You know those, uh, you know those rocks? You know those rocks that you've seen? There's, like, these rocks, right? There's, like, these rock things, but instead of, like, having rock inside them, they have, like, meat inside them. And they're eaten as a delicacy, and apparently they're, like, endangered or something? So I was, like, searching those up one day, because, like, I was wondering, I was like, Hey, I wonder if anybody made some new videos on those living rocks. Because I was just like, I was like, I was like looking for shit to look at, you know? And I just watched like a cryptid video and I was reminded about those rocks with meat in them. Meat rocks? Clams? No! No, like actual like, they look like rocks, but they're kind of, they kind of work like kind of oysters. Where they just, where they just build up rock above themselves. But they look like rocks, they look a lot like rocks. Yeah. So, so I was like looking about, looking those up, and um... And, and this came up, and I was like, well, what is this? What is this? Because <laughs> cause in my search query, I was like, living rocks with meat in them. <laughs> and apparently, Vita Carnus translates to living w living meat. Living meat. You know? It's funky. And I was like, whoa, what, what is this? What is this? This isn't a meat rock. This is... <laughs> oh, this is an animal horror story. <laughs> Oops. Pre-watch? I did get to watch some of it. By myself, but I was like, hey, this this might be fun to watch on stream. So let's do that. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant Reaper, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato! Good morning, Yuka! My custom Yuka PC parts just arrived. Whoa! I lick I let I licked the pics! I linked the pics in Discord. Wow, my Oshi's growl girl. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool! Is this just like the bottom? Oh my gosh! You just, you just slot it on top of your, uh, your, your, your funky graphics card. What? That's so cool. You can get those? I didn't even know you could get those. Wow. We look in pictures now. <laughs> can we see? No. Join the Discord. <laughs> I'm lazy right now. I joined the Discord. <laughs> 
RTX 3070 Yuka powered. That's that's great. Now your games are gonna run 30% slower. <laughs> In Romania, rocks can reproduce, the more you know. Apparently there's some, uh, there's some rocks in Australia here as well. They just build up in a circle pattern. They're just little, they're just little circles on the floor of, like, a small bay. <laughs> just funky little circles. And, and they're rocks, but they grow. And you're not allowed to go there, or else you'll hurt them. You'll hurt them. And then the government will get angry at you. Mm. <laughs> And now your games are 75% stinkier. Yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> Behold, the stinky PC. <laughs> My house is built on rocks. <gasps> Those poor rocks. You're harming them. You're saying rocks exist in Australia? Damn, that's crazy. No, they're like living rocks. They've got, they're made of like little tiny thingies. That, that make rocky stuff. I don't know. Oh no. They like built their own houses. It's pretty funky. But yeah. Australia definitely has some pretty valuable rocks though. If you ever want to come over and steal some rocks, that's pretty cool. We have a lot of red dirt, which is apparently dirt with iron in it, so go ahead. Take like take like some dirt, bro. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy, we have plenty. Rocks aren't real. Change my mind. That mm. I have no way to change your mind, actually. It's, it's not like I have had much personal experience with rocks besides, like, shoving them in my mouth every couple years. <laughs> Hide them away from society! Put them in your mouth! <laughs> Yuka letting us steal rocks? It's not stealing. Um, okay, maybe it is stealing. I don't know who owns the land, but, like, maybe it is stealing. <laughs> I don't know. Never let it be said that Australia won't give you dirt. Yeah, please enjoy our dirt. <laughs> please enjoy our dirt. Are these living rocks? You're talking about something closer to barnacles and oysters? Because the way you're describing them growing mineral outside of them makes me think they probably are. I don't know. Hold on. <clears throat> hold on I'm gonna open a new window. <laughs> I'm gonna open a new window and look for them. <laughs> living rocks. Um. Um. Um, no, not the cactus ones. Not the cactus ones. These ones, what is this? What is this called? What is this fucking called? <laughs> oh, 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 it's called Pyura Chiliensis. Pyura Chiliensis. I'll, 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 I'll spell it out right, right now. Hold on. Um, let's, uh... Let's use this text box. Ignore, ignore the what I'm. Ignore this. Ignore this. It's called Pyura Chiliensis. I think it's because it's found off the coast of Chile or something. But like, search this up. This is really cool. Funky, a funky little, funky little rabbit hole for you to fall down. <clears throat> yeah, apparently people eat this shit. It's so weird. Hmm, chili. <laughs> chili. I'm actually kind of hungry now. But it's okay. We will we'll be we'll be unhungry soon after we watch this. Yeah. Mm. There goes Yuka making up words again. I'm not making up world words. It's real. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's super cool. It's a rock that has guts in it. It's cool. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. I'm currently eating meatloaf. My cat. What? What? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? So no movie watching snacks? I mean, go ahead, go ahead, watch, watch some, what, you, what, eat, what, eat some snacks. Ew, Yuka, why Yuka? Why Yuka? I'm not the one eating my cat. I can't believe this. Yuka, don't eat random rocks. But, but they say it's yummy. But they say it's yummy. Wah. All right, hold on. Let's let's watch some Vita Carnis now. Let's not drag this on any longer. We have a lot to get through. We have a lot to get through. We've got at least like well like twenty videos or some shit. No, not twenty. At least like fifteen, maybe. We don't have to watch all of them though today. We can just get through as many as we want. Hmm. Good name for a cat. Bad name considering it just sounded like you were eating your People pee on rocks, Yuka. What? People pee on rocks? 
I thought you guys peed behind bushes. Ew. No, you can no spit it out. <laughs> My rock now. <laughs> I mean, logically, to, uh, to stop myself from craving rocks, I can just eat some hard candy. Because hard candy is basically a rock, right? Because it's sugar. Sugar is basically a rock. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Ba Warning, this video talks about and shows imagery of graphic content like gore, violence, death, and flashing lights. If you can't handle those, get the fuck out of here. I'm not, I'm not going to be responsible for your death. <laughs> not today. Not today. Thank you, why am I sticky for the seven months in the free super chat, free super chat. Arigato. I'm at work, so I can't poop myself from fear or my co-workers are gonna call me poopy pants again. <laughs> Stream since the last time, why, have, why am I sticky talked about pooping slash peeing themselves on stream? Zero. <laughs> Finally, I can do it to you guys now. Well, yeah, good luck. Try not to poop yourself on stream. On planet Earth, Ooh. life has thrived for millions of years. Ooh. Creatures big and small well, those have are big found and ways small. to adapt and evolve to flourish in all types of environments. Amazing! From barren wastes to lush forests, hmm. life can be found. That is Earth true. Earth has owned these creatures since the dawn of life itself. Only Look until at these very old recently, guys. things have uh, changed. Thank you, Koala, for the New super chat. New life chat. forms have super appeared chat. all around the globe spooky, and completely boopy. changing the balance of nature and what we know Ooh. about evolution itself. That is why we, at National Living Meat Research, have been studying these new species, Funky. trying to help educate everyone about these creatures and their wondrous ways of life. Life always finds a way. First, <laughs> what are these new life forms? What are they? Yes, Since their explosive us. arrival across the globe in 1931, Whoa! there has been much debate on what these newcomers are so is this and an where they came timeline? from. Timeline? What, hap what happened here? Why, did why was there a dip here? Sorry. Uh, hold on. Let me let me make it so you can see my mouse. Why is there why is there a uh, why is there a dip here? What's up with this? What's up with this? I can understand. I can understand here because it's not really a dip. It's just like a slow down, maybe because of like. It, it it encountered like a new place to to go to, so it just had a little explosion. Cause it looks like it was about to plateau in terms of population density. Maybe it invaded a new continent. Maybe it was like originated somewhere, went to another place, pew, gained some more. But like, why did dip? What happened? We started eating them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, Never Rain, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato. Peeing on trees is actually bad, since deer will eat that bark for the salt you left. Huh? Why is that way? Why? Why? Why is that bad? <laughs> it's just nature being nature, you know. Yuka, please don't scream in fear. Miss Whiskers is right in front of the screen, and I really don't want to her to knock over the monitor. I think I think I'll be okay for a while. I think I'll be okay for a while. I wasn't born in that era, so I don't know. Um, is there anyone here that's like 80 years old that can explain why we had a dip in population? Was there like some kind of major historical event? Any of you guys 80 plus years old? <laughs> Asking for a friend. I know my demographics that I barely have anyone watching me that's 80 plus years old, but like, uh, any anyone wanna, wanna like hazard a guess? Is it because of like, like, uh, may maybe a financial crisis? The plague, Yuka. The plague? 1960 was about 60 years ago, not 80. Uh... Oh. Okay, any of you guys are 60? 60 plus years old? Oops, me dumb. I don't do math very good. I have the spine of an 80 year old. <laughs> I'm 36, that's pretty old. Um, okay, Mr. 36 man. How, how what happened here? <laughs> what happened here? What happened? Yuko's calling us elderly out. <laughs> From. Are they extraterrestrials coming to invade Earth? Yes. Or are they demons who come from hell to purge humanity? Yes. From what Both. our scientists have discovered. No. Aww. The origins of these creatures are solely to Earth, miraculously okay. out of nowhere. We don't know why Where? or how, but one thing is for certain, Earth is now their home. What these creatures are is mysterious and still not well known today. Uh, thank you, that one but here is what we do know. Chat, chat. 
These creatures are comprised. <laughs> Hold on, we've got an explanation. It was the Hamburglar Crisis of 68. Ronald McWonald was a real monster in those days, building an empire from the streets up. So did so did Ronald McWonald start using these monsters as, as hamburger fillings? Is, is that what this is? is? Is that what happened? We did just start eating them? Oh my goodness. Yuka, do you like a certain genre of horror or do you have a different favorite? Personally, I like horror that isn't particularly scary. So stuff like body horror, that, that doesn't freak me out. So... I can watch that, no problem. I remember watching, uh, watching Monsters Inside Me, you know, that vi the video series about, like, people having parasites in them while, like, eating noodles. <laughs> I'd eat instant noodles while watching it, and I'd be like, slurp? Just watching, like, worms crawl ar across my screen, just slurp? Mmm, yum, these noodles are great. <laughs> I think that's the actual McDonald's lore, yeah. Huh, funky. <laughs> I remember Monsters Inside Me. It was such such a fun series. I need to go back and watch more. Most mainly of muscle tissue, organs, and bones. They greatly resemble animals with no skin or store-bought meat. Oh. Because of these characteristics. Well, specifically store-bought? <laughs> okay. Sticks. If you hunt your own meat, that that's not what it looks like, okay? You can't, You have no reference point. Have been named accordingly as Vita Carnis. Vita Carnis. The Carnis species consume decaying organic matter, but their main diet is composed of raw meat. Find me the fucking scientists that literally named the entire the entire what's it called? The family. The entire family of this stuff is just called living. Like yeah, duh. Everything, everything, mostly everything on the taxonomy tree is living. This is, this is, this is, this is a terrible family name. Family, 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 <laughs> family, family. Wait, Yuka, you said this was related to the PSV that you liked to <laughs> We do a little trolling. <laughs> Not including their carnies relatives. The carnies only appear in places where there is an abundance of crawl, which leads to the first creature of the carnies species. Okay. The crawl. Crawl. The crawl is a growth of meaty Whoa. tendrils that closely resemble the small intestine. The only difference being the dark red coloration. Small intestine, not These veins? These tendrils grow huh? in a similar pattern as vines, mold, or fungi. Fungi. A primary stem structure is the host of division of other, so cool. smaller branches. And each tendril contains a variety of veins, Whoa. arteries, and other similar organs used to but transport nutrients from the surroundings. But I thought it was like the small intestine. The ends of these tendrils are equipped with organelles used to absorb water organelles? and organic matter necessary for growth. I don't, I don't think you're using that word correctly. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Vanilla, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato. I love Yuka treating this like real ecology documentary and intensely analyzing the biology instead of treating it like a spoopy animal car. It's the only way I won't freak out about it. <laughs> but organelles are stuff inside the cells, right? They're not, they're not necessarily outside. So are we talking like? Are we talking that the cells have sensory organs? Or, organ, organelles? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So it's not using, um, it's not using like neurons and stuff, it's using little, little sensory organelles. Funky. Thank you, never arrange for the super chat, super chat. Arigato. The scientific name for gorillas are gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. Wow. It's genus, not family. Ah, my bad. My bad. The source of these organic materials is mainly found in dirt and soil on surrounding surfaces. It's an organelle with its cellular structure and specialized cells akin to the stingers on a jellyfish. Okay, so it's got sensory cells. Cool, got it. Using its root-like dendrils, it absorbs the material Whoa. and processes it into usable energy. So like trees! Although, the crawl also obtains energy through another means. Does it eat babies? It eats Using babies, doesn't it? It eats babies! It eats babies. I knew it. Photosynthesis. photosynthesis. The dark pigmentation of the smaller branches is ideal for absorbing sunlight and therefore cool. allowing solar energy to fuel the crawl's growth. Whoa! So it's because not lethal. Because of its efficiency, it thrives in almost all types of environments, easily allowing it to spread oh. across the world. I was gonna say that little section of South America is safe, but then it just got filled in anyway. Really <laughs> allowing it to spread what? across the world and can be found pretty much anywhere. Its recent inclusion in the ecosystem Whoa. has caused many major changes in nature's balance. It just looks like tree One roots. may assume that the crawl's presence may outcompete any other competitors, but due to its unique life cycle, 
where old branches fall off and decay into nutrient-rich compost, all forms of life seemingly flourish instead. Oh, cool! That's good! The crawl's abundance grants plenty of nourishment to all animals, from plants feeding on the decayed crawl, herbivores like, thriving uh, on increased plant population, and crawl- but, but, but like, uh, isn't it still taking nutrients out of the ground? It's just like normal plants. It would still outcompete plants, wouldn't it? I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I know it's nutrient rich, but like, man, if, if I, you know, if I grow a potato, it's still gonna have to compete with other plants, even though the potato is nutrient rich, right? Carnivores feeding know. on both the abundant prey and are able to eat the crawl as well. Unless if it's synthesizing nutrients. The presence is of all these animals... But he said it's, it, it absorbs nutrients from the ground as well, right? Leave behind waste, Don't overthink which will be Yoko. broken down okay. and consumed by the crawl, and the cycle begins well, either again. Either way, it's just like another funky cycle. This it's form just a of funky symbiosis plant. leads to an environment a plant where with all tubes populations in it. thrive. More tubes in it. Fleshy tubes. Humanity also uses the crawl to our advantage. Why does this, why does this human look like you have such long arms? I don't know why it's bugging me, but this human looks like they have really long arms. Maybe my arms are just really short. I don't know, I've been looking at my silhouette recently, and I have, like, really short arms. I have short limbs, my goodness. Because of the supernatural <laughs> rate of growth and its richness okay. in nutrients, oh, okay, it has okay. been sustainably cultivated into domestic farms. Whoa! The crawl is harvested and processed into fertilizer, which greatly <laughs> increases crop this. yield and quality. The crawl may also be used as a food source for humans, and reliably so. But due to its unkindly appearance and taste, it has yet to reach cuisine standards. What does it taste like, poop? -poo? The crawl also plays a very important role in the next creatures that we have been studying. I mean, Sometimes, did you try using taco seasoning on it? I'm pretty sure taco seasoning can fix anything that tastes weird. In a crawl populated environment, a note of meat may develop Whoa! on one of the branches. This node will fall off and grow into a functioning organism Whoa! and go to live on as an independent animal. This leads us secret, to the upcoming Secret, did you see species. it? Se secret? Uh, the, the, when the weird glitch happened, right? Where, where was that? And we'll reach cuisine where standards, was, next creatures that we have been studying. Sometimes, in a crawl populated I environment, I didn't see a him, note of meat may develop on one of the wow. branches. <laughs> this node will fall off and grow into a functioning meat. organism and go to live on as an independent animal. Whoa, so it just gives birth. This leads birth. us to the upcoming Funky. species that we will be discussing. Like a hydra. The first of these creatures are the trimmings. Trimmings. Ah, oh, those were secrets. I see those secrets. Let's see those secrets. What do we got? Oh, okay. This one. I can't read it. My internet quality is too bad. This is in like 144p. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It looks like a picture of a funky royal family. F f family? F family? All right, we've got the next video. Watch out, guys. This one talks about gore, violence, death, and flashing lights. Again. It looks like cloaks. Yes. I was referring to the funny red circle. Oh. <laughs> the trimmings. Trimmings. Trimmings are small animals that resemble... Oh, they look horrible. Oh my goodness. Hi, Dad Josie. Welcome. Today we're watching... Uh, we're watching... Oh, we're watching funky video about funky Vita. Vita Carnus. Funky, funky. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Dad Josie is a, a, a beautiful voice actress. She's been dipping her feet into ASMR too. I saw that video. I saw that video. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to check her out and give her give her a subscribe if you like her content. She's very cute. She's very cool as well. <laughs> Trimming seem like an okay pet. Well, I'm pretty sure later on we actually have a video talking about like how to feed your trimming or something. So it looks like it looks like people do keep them as pets. Now that I look at it, it kind of looks a little bit like a uh, it kind of looks a little bit like one of those uh what are they called? The little, the little squishy things. The little, I don't know, what are they called? Oh no. Water bears. <laughs> water bear. It kind of looks like a water bear. If you, if you squint really hard. <laughs> the first glitchy clip with a, was a piece of news article about an infestation of crawl at a radio tower. Huh. Just, just cut the crawl off. Would it be that hard? 
burn and cauterize the ends. Tardigrade? Yeah, tardigrade. Yeah. Skinned raccoons. Naked mole they rat. Yeah. <laughs> have a plump body. What? Animals. Sorry, what did he the say? Trimmings. trimmings are small animals that resemble skinned raccoons. I, I, I ain't ever seen a raccoon that looks like that, man. <laughs> Sir, I don't think you've seen a raccoon before. <laughs> they are commonly known to have a plump body, round head, small eyes, It does look kind of like a maggot. And an agape mouth. They are also equipped with a diversity of limbs. Mm. All individual trimmings are unique, each with a different body shape. What a shape, cute name, trimming. Of <laughs> and other is characteristics. It? Whoa, that one's spiky! This is like, an, like a Pokemon. Does it evolve? Or does it just come out like that? That's pretty sick. Raccoons from Ohio. I see. <laughs> I see. Well, if it's like a regional variant of a raccoon, then I guess, of course, I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> it's Sonic. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> One thing they all share in common is that they are made mostly of meat tissue and are a maximum of 20 centimeters. That's crazy. I'm made mostly of meat tissue as well. <gasps> it's me for real. Like no larger than a basketball. It's a ba if it's if it's basketball size, does that mean I can punt it? Does that mean I can punt it? Like like, it looks round and it looks like it would be bouncy. I think I can punt it. I think you could use it as a ball. Its life starts with its separation from. Okay, the you're crawl. mostly water, not meat. It will want oh, to I find guess so. anything that is edible and able. But the thing is, meat is mostly water, right? So I'm technically still mostly meat. To consume. Although it is an omnivore, will wonder to find anything that is edible and able to consume. Okay. Although it is an omnivore, being able to hunt meat and fork. Fuck, I know, obvious. I, yeah, I guess, I guess so. I shouldn't punt it. It doesn't deserve it. ...for plant matter. Trimlings are almost entirely scavengers. Oh! Their diet consists That's of rotting sweet. plants and meat, including, but not limited to... I'm not rotting, therefore I'm safe. Two. Fruits, vegetables, roots, Vega tables, seeds, insects, and deceased animals. Although its appearance is unsightly, Ooh, it is oh, a Jesus only fleeing. It looks kind of like a turtle. I'll be honest, its face looks kind of like a turtle, and I kind of like that. It's it, it's kind of cute. It's just a little bit cute. You know, it's cute. It's cute in the way that like like a pug is cute. You know. Like, it's got that kind of, like, charm. It's it's ugly cute. I, I kind of like it, actually. I want one now. And hiding when threatened. Because of its lack of defensive traits, it lies near the bottom of the food chain, making it Aww. easily overpowered and picked off very regularly by predators. Naturally, Poor baby. its population would eventually die out. Aww. Which is not the case. Oh, wait, hold on. Secrets? I saw one. I saw the secret. Mass trimming infestation. Estimated 400 plus trimmings gather under a large abandoned satellite dish. Um, the reasons are something, and why this is. Uh. Man, someone did a really bad job at censoring this. <laughs> like the first section is great, but then like I think his pen like ran out of ink or something. He's just like, ah, shit. Oh, fuck, I can't, I can't censor the ra- Ah, whatever, we'll just, we'll, ah, whatever. It's fine. We, we don't need to worry about it. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm like, good on him, you know? Good on him. <laughs> Thank you, Sharkbait, for joining the Jelly Beans. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Um, mwah. They've been summoned. Summoned by the satellite dish. <gasps> Does that mean they are some kind of extraterrestrial horror? That's pretty funky. It was the 60s, you guys. What do you mean it was the 60s, Yuka? Pens run out of ink in the 60s, too. Do pens... Do pens run out of ink in the 60s? Or is that like a recent invention to make us buy more pens? Oh, conspiracy. <laughs> is not the case. The crawl constantly produces a large quantity of trimming nodes, keeping up their numbers. Uh, so we can eat them, right? Trimmings can be found wherever there is abundant crawl. Okay, cool. So everywhere. Except that one part of Africa that fell off the map recently. Trimmings grow at a decent pace, reaching maturity Whoa. in around seven months, having a maximum lifespan of two to four years. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of sad. Although it's, it's only two to four. If you get a trimming, you you know you go through like considering that roughly humans live to around seventy or eighty, you'd have like oh you'd have to get like what like twenty trimmings. Over the course of your life. And that's like the maximum expectancy. That's that's a lot of trimmings. 
if you want to keep having a trimming in your house. That's kind of sad. That's really sad. Oh, they are plentiful. About Humanity as long as a hamster. No it's sad. I'm sad about that. Society. Their overabundance has even considered them pests. Oh no. Oh no. They're just, they're in your walls. They're living in your walls. They're in your attics. Oh gosh. Check your attics, guys. You might have a, you might have a weird fleshy raccoon in there. I let my cats eat them. <laughs> Use them digging through trash bins and making excessive oh, noise Oh no. Besides Noisy. all of this, some people still keep trimmings as pets oh, and cute. relatively domesticate them. That's kind of cute. Nuisance or not, trimmings are a wondrous creature from their plentiful numbers. Bro, if I was pooping and one of those came through the wall, I'm gone. You're gone in what way? Like your poop is shooting out your body or like a, like a poop rocket to send you into the sky? Or like, are you just like running poop between your legs? <laughs> kind of thing. What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? What's, what's the plan? To their skittish nature. Yes. <laughs> they are truly a thing to behold. The next species on our what list What do we got next? The meat he's just a fun- Yeah, he's just a funky little man so far. These guys are just funky little guys. What do we got? Is there a secret? Is there a secret? Whoa, what is this? Boat. It's a boat, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Poop me to the moon. <laughs> oh, watch out, guys. This episode talks about gore, violence, death? And flashing lights. It's the letter S. Holy shit, the letter S. Terrifying. You know what S also starts with? What also starts with S? Spooky. Scary. Um. S sexy? <laughs> <laughs> the meat snake. Meat snake. The meat snake is a worm-like creature oh. made of a variety of types of meat. Wow! Transparent. So it's like... <laughs> it's like a turducken. <laughs> it's made with more than one type of meat. In like membrane. Its size varies during its lifespan, depending on how much it consumes. Cool! When it first separates from the crawl, oh, it is it's only so a cute. few centimeters in length. It's like a little, it's a little Eventually, snake. Eventually, it will reach an average length of five meters. Although, under extreme Five conditions, meters. like natural Five disasters, meters is quite long. war, or plague, it can greatly surpass it can, it can, whoa, whoa, secret! Hold on! I saw that! I was rubbing my eyeball, but I saw that! Largest meat snake ever discovered during a sweep of underground settlements made during the war, a massive-sized meat snake was discovered. <laughs> that was that was just my meat snake, sorry. <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> the base was measured at a total of 40 meters in length. It is believed that bodies gathered during the war was fed to the creature, causing it to reach the unbelievable size. Cult activity. Oh, is this just cult activity? Big worm. He's a big worm. You could dot dot dot. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> surpassed this leg. All right, what else we got? The meat snake's diet consists entirely of dead animals or parts. Cool! The meat snake is incapable of... So far, these guys seem pretty good for the environment. They're eating a lot of detritus, which is rotting stuff. Consuming a healthy, living organism. The meat snake allocates its food by using a tongue-like organ covered in sensors wow. to touch and feel its environment. The sensors catch... Part Sorry, I should, I should be reading that, shouldn't I? Uh, what did it say? Hold on. I'm using I'm using the frame by frame. <laughs> the meat snake's tongue shows great resemblance to regular snakes. I can't tell what that are snake tongues. Hmm. Being able to f to f the f the environment collect particles. Ah, oh, okay. Licky licky. All right. The, the snake licky licky. Particles of decaying meat. Notifying the meat snake that there is food nearby. Ah! This process shares many similarities so it's like to smelling, regular snakes. Hence but the it's meat tasting. snake's name. Once it locates the corpse, it the meat snake will open its yes. jaw and swallow the entire body whole. Whoa, why does it look so goofy? Why does that top half look like a nose? <laughs> I'm just imagining a meat snake talking like Squidward. Once the entire body is consumed, 
The meat snake's stomach will release a variety of chemicals. Uh. Some will break down soft tissue like skin and the connection points between muscles. Others' chemicals will then ferment and preserve the tissue to keep it from breaking down uh. for as long as possible. That's After how I that, eat my food. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shove a burger in there. Flesh and bones will Swallow move it the whole. Meat tract and slowly be okay. implemented into its own structure, extending the meat snake. Oh my gosh, it's like it's like the snake game on Google. Unsatisfactory parts like skulls, pelvis. Yo, ferment? Can we put cabbage in there and make kimchi? <laughs> it's probably gonna be one of those super expensive kimchi's. Like you know those coffee beans that are eaten by like that marsupial. Was it marsupial? No, it's eaten by like a certain kind of monkey or lemur or something. Then pooped out and it costs like a bajillion dollars. It's just like that. You just make super high quality kimchi out of this snake's poop. Hair and fingernails will be excreted. Oh, fingernails. Speaking of skulls, the meat I don't snake like will what take that the skull from the consumed organism and use it as its own. Oh. Each meat snake has its own skull. Each oh, that's funky. That oh, is that a human one? Fuck. I don't I didn't I didn't like that one. That one does not look good. It's I'm consumed. not a fan. Not a fan During of that its one. Lifespan, it will swap or replace these skulls if needed. The um, the Kopi Luwakia, something like that. Yeah, civet. Yeah, that one. Meat snake's lifespan depends entirely on how much a meat snake can Skull mass like Q bone. So metal to wear the skull of someone you ate. That's so cool. How does it do it anyways? Does it just like, does it just like, like, just kind of like travel from its stomach to its face? Or does it like put it on? Has lived for wisdom. Because it doesn't look like it has any fingers, you know? How would you put it on? Do you just like wiggle into the skull or? Eh? Eight years. The meat snake. You'd think people would give them custom skulls like hermit crabs. <laughs> I can imagine that. It has no predators and is immune to disease due to its preserving chemicals. Funky. The only significant ways a meat snake can die is through starvation, burning, or complete destruction of the meat snake's membrane coating. What if I cut it in half? Does it just become two meat snakes? Is that how it works? Interestingly, the meat snake is the only member of the oh. Carnies family that is able to reproduce. Reproduce? When a meat snake reaches an excessive babies? size and is in the conditions to do so, it will commence mitosis, splitting itself in two. No! Then now two meat snakes will go. No, not mitosis! Not mitosis! Asexual reproduction! Not mitosis! On its two distinct organisms. No! Meat snakes can only. I mean, technically mitosis, but also no! Under moderate temperature climates. That's the sexy part of the end. Too hot. Not too cold. Whoa, all right, let's see who's fucked. Temperature climates. Who's fucked? Canada is pretty safe, actually. Everyone move to Canada! <laughs> not too hot. Not too Go! cold. Their population depends entirely on the amount of corpses available. Where there is death, there are meat snakes. Funky. Wait, so that hold on. <laughs> so there's no deaths deaths on the on the tip of South America? Nobody dies there. Guys, we found the cure for aging. <laughs> we found the cure for aging and death. It's the tip of... It's the southern tip of South America. No one fucking lives there. <laughs> you can't die if we live there. There's no death. <laughs> Too cold. No one There's lives in the places where... <laughs> you can't die there. The but like everywhere else has like even just like a slight grainy filter, you know? Yeah, except like <laughs> the southern tip of, of of South America. Sorry. Oh gosh, I'm so terrible. Correlation, not causation, Yuka. Oh. Okay. Their population okay. Where's Antarctica? Nobody lives in Antarctica. I think. Except like scientists. Corpses available. Where there is death, there are meat snakes. Wonky. Don't worry, it's gonna and get worse. Okay, great. I love that. Meat Thanks, Josie. Very efficient and clean way of disposing of any meat products. Heck. The preserving fluid within the meat snake's body disinfects the carrion, preventing the spread of disease. That's great! Humans you could you could totally use it as a graveyard. Use meat snakes in butcher shops as a oh. waste bin. Oh, that's dispose nice. Roadkill within war nice. on the battlefield to dispose of festering okay. bodies Fair. and parts, and within Zeus to dispose of deceased animals. Okay. Makes sense? I can I can they see are that. Extremely tame. Oh, <laughs> they're extremely tame. Shows picture of an aggressive meat snake. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant Reaper, for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato. So 
just the tip. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> no. Creature is around them, only acting defensively when it is within. The war part is kind of messed up. I mean, yeah, it is, but it makes sense, right? What's the best way to get rid of a lot of bodies? War is not good, guys. I'm I'm against war. I don't think it's very cool. It gonna give you a kissy with what lips? <laughs> with what lips? That does not look tame. <laughs> Consuming a meal. This means they are very easy to tame. Hmm. Overall, I gotta go enjoy. It. Okay, bye bye. This creature with a very interesting way of sustaining itself. Funky. It is an amazing experience to encounter. Is that a lateral line? Is that a lateral line? <laughs> is this a fish? For <laughs> one, as long as you don't mind the smell. Smell? It's stinky. Our next creature is stinky. the mimic. Mimic. Ah! 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 What? He could what well, I can't I can barely read this. Um this prince eventually was The Prince stumbled his way into a nearby cave. The prince something what something he could put What? A healing sleep. Is that healing sleep? Something something healing sleep. Yeah, after being stranded at sea, the young... Oh, thank you! After being stranded at sea, the young prince eventually was cast to an island. Injured, the prince stumbled his way into a nearby cave. The prince used what magic he could to put himself into a... ...into a healing sleep. Oh! Oh! What is this story about? Is this like a side story? Hmm? Me when I see the mimic. Hell nah, to the nah nah nah. Hell to the nah. Uh oh. Is this a bad part? Is this a part where it, it, it gets like real scary? Oh my goodness. Alright. Again, watch out if you're scared of gore, violence, death, and flashing lights. Yuka, why is your eyes glowing? Um, uh, too much party juice. The mimic oh, I don't, I don't like it. I don't- I instantly don't like it. I don't- I don't like that. That doesn't- that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. Oh, they're playing hangman in the corner there. It's a bipedal creature with uncanny similarities to humanoid anatomy. Ooh. They greatly resemble humans without skin. Now we have the humanoid creatures. I do feature. not like humanoid creatures. It looks like a necromorph. These features include... Extended finger length, longer mm. limbs, bulging, mm. empty eyes. Bulging, and empty their most eyes. Prominent feature: a wide, teeth-filled smile. Oh, that's that's great. At least it looks friendly. It kind of looks like SCP-96. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Although it resembles a happy face, this is due to coincidence and is only how their facial structure is shaped. Oh. The mimic contains much more teeth so than it's not humans, friendly? and their teeth is comprised almost entirely of incisors. Okay. With some canine and premolars in the that, back. That's cool. That means it doesn't really grind its food. That's that's great. That's good information. It just kind of rips off pieces and swallows it. I assume maybe like a wolf. This is tooth composition is ideal for biting down onto meat and swallowing chucks whole. Yes. A mature mimic's diet is comprised entirely of human flesh. If you see this thing, run. Okay, well, um, um... Look, I don't think I can outrun it. It has longer limbs than me. It would probably just, like, walk at a gentle pace. Pick me up and then eat me. A mature mimic's diet is comprised entirely of human flesh. They're just gonna let that sink in? Volume warning? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm nervous. Because <laughs> of this, around human populated areas. Canada is not safe, but Russia is. Everybody move to Russia. The mimic's life cycle is made of three stages. In the first stage, a young mimic separates from the crawl. They okay. closely resemble their trimming relatives, but are thin. I told you, nobody lives there. <laughs> Cold Russia, let's go! <laughs> nobody lives there, therefore no scary crawl. And only have four appendages. Well, what is, what is that? That looks like that relatives. looks like funky baby you cause fucked. You're fucked too! <laughs> Look at this map! You're fucked! <laughs> You're fucked! <laughs> Found solely around human populated areas. That's a warning you should internalize. Uh I I don't I was, I'm scared. 
In the first stage, a young mimic separates from the crawl. They closely mm -hmm. resemble their trimming relatives. Oh, they're skinnier though. Why are they skinnier? Thin, What's up with that? And only have four appendages. Well, like an apple In product. In this stage, the young mimic will hunt small animals. Okay. Moving on to larger and larger as they grow. Cool. How 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 effective is a shotgun? Once large Asking enough, for a friend. will begin metamorphosis. Oh yeah, there are no shotguns here. Fuck. To the next stage of life. Once fully transformed, it will resemble the description mentioned in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Its hunting style changes and becomes Mimic much locked inside home after owner escaped. Man, the poor Mimic is just sitting there. He's like, fuck, I can't get out of this house. I'm stuck. It now stalks and feeds. Mimic locked in home after owner escaped. Okay. It's only on humans. Oh. It will locate human. Oh, what was that? What was that? I saw that. Hey, hey, what are you hiding from me? What are you hiding from me? This is just a random picture of a guy next to a mimic. Okay. It will locate human. It has another form. Oh fuck! It does. Its search for an easy target. To blend it. I'm an easy target. Uh oh. In, it may use objects to conceal itself. Oh. These include clothing, mannequins, oh. Oh. and furniture. I fucking hate mannequins. Once a target has been found. Oh, the there he is. He's stalking him. There he is right there. Right there. You see him? You see him? He's stalking that poor little human. Mimic will observe its prey and learn its routine and when it is most vulnerable. Jesus Christ, he's like a thief. This is typically when the human is asleep at Typically. Night. Once the prey is within position. Fuck, well, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, am I? Until it is close enough. You could, do you think you could tell the difference between a mimic and meatloaf? <laughs> I mean... Apart from the fact that the Mimic doesn't have flesh? Maybe? <laughs> Odd way to sleep. They're just a, they're just, they're just, they're just a uh, levitating side sleeper, you know? They've got, uh, they've got magics in them. Mm. It's not laundry on a chair in the corner, it's a Mimic. Stop it! Stop it! I'll sub! I'll sub for the real! Mimic will then execute and immediately begin consumption. Ah. Uh. Once the Mimic has had its fill, it will leave the scene. A fair distance away from the human population oh. and begin to digest its meal. Okay. Stationary mimic found outside of town, presumably digesting last night's meal. Dot dot dot. Although, in the case that a human is awake, a mimic will use a variety of sounds to either <coughs> lure or startle prey into cornering themselves. Once. I screamed! I hate the knocking on the door! I hate that sound effect! It makes me piss my pants every single time! Every single, every single time. I swear to God, I hate that sound effect. I just want to go to the door. Ah, it's not, it's not fair. How do they make it sound so, 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 so realistic? Fucking Christ. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Alex Jacobo, for the super chat. Super chat, arigato. Truly more sus than a character from Among Us. So there goes my monitor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Miss Whiskers. I'm sorry. It sounds to either lower or start <sighs> prey into cornering themselves. All right. Once a human is in place, it will swiftly attack and kill the helpless target. Oh no, there's found footage! I swear to god. If there's a jump scare at the end, I am going to actually poo my pants. Turn your fucking flashlight off, you stupid bitch! <laughs> I don't want to watch this! my eyes <laughs> oh god oh fucking christ it's got chili fingers it's got chili fingers dry chili fingers oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck i can't look i'm sorry i'm too cowardly The next stage of the mimic's life cycle has two. All right, hold. On. Okay, I'll go back and. Oh, oh, oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh fucking Christ! Me when I visit you, could no. <laughs> Chelsea, please don't do this to me. Oh shit! Oh shit! My pants! Oh shit! My pants are real. <laughs> I'll spend the entire rest of the afternoon cleaning my shitted pants. Chelsea, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do this to me. <laughs> it's so ugly! It's so ugly! <laughs> Stage of the mimic's life cycle has two potential morphs that If a mimic has a consistent supply of food, it will develop more human-like features. It will grow skin, hair, and by the end will look nearly identical to a human being. It now can blend entirely into like civilization the and like other the humans meat, more effectively. I don't like it. The second type of morph happens when a mimic <laughs> receives an overabundance of food. Okay. It will grow into a larger, more oh. evolved hunter. Its proportions will increase oh, in Oh, it's so friendly its looking! Its features will fade away. It grows a thick, dark coating of a flexible skin, which is highly durable. Oh, and increases no. in strength the more the elder mimic consumes. Thank you, Sergeant Reaper, for the super chat. Super chat, arigato. Just leave this flashlight on while trying to hide, yeah? Heck yeah, let's go! It's the puppet from FNAF. Oh no, face, it is! Which is now coated in a Elder pale Mimic. Skin. Oh. The Mimic's teeth have also moved deeper into the Mimic's but, throat. But for what? For why? <laughs> why? Why has it done that? Leaving its mouth a toothless grin. But why though? It uses the dark hue of its skin to. How is it gonna rip off flesh if the teeth are in the throat? I'd seamlessly within a dark environment. Boomer. <laughs> its skills have also been heightened. This makes an elder mimic oh. one of the most efficient predators on the planet. Oh, that's great! Because of the how did they figure this out, stuff out? Probably experience, maybe experiments. The threat this poses on humanity. Nations around the world have released instructions on how to be able to fend for yourself All in right. a mimic encounter. How do I fend Here for myself? One. Oh, okay. Avoid There's actually instructions. Out alone if your location is known to have mimics. Okay. There have been mimic sightings. Okay. Two. Okay. I can, I can see that. That's understandable. That's normal. If you encounter a stationary mimic, okay. seemingly unfazed by your presence, quietly leave the location and alert okay. your local authorities. Yes. Three. If pursued by <laughs> Idiot, now I can eat it without it eating me. <laughs> Find stationary mimic. Oh yeah, baby, dinner time. <laughs> Thank you, Sarcastic Silver, for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato. If you join the monolith, Yuka, you'll be safe. N no? Mimic, get yourself into a what's, what's it gonna do? Manifest itself between me and the mimic and go, no. Bad. Stop. <laughs> position where you are able to flee. Okay. Mimics will rarely attack if a person has a clear escape route. Okay. Four. Smash open the window. In the event that you have been cornered by a mimic, roll into the fetal position. Protecting your neck, face, and vital organs from attack. Make as much noise as you can to alert any other people. 5. If you have a weapon, do yes. not use it. Oh. A mimic is fairly resilient, Aww. and any strikes or shots on a mimic is not effective enough to bring it down. But what about, what about shotguns? But what about big shotgun? <laughs> have you tried big shotgun? Have you tried, have you, have you tried a big iron? As a barrier have you tried a deagle? To block any no? Attacks. Okay. Six. In a situation where a mimic is What about a sword? Enemies. Yeah, what, what about sword? <laughs> what if you're, what if you're an, an isekai hero, isekai into our world, and you have like sword skills and shit? Would that work? Is not aware of your position. Hide somewhere low. Like under a bed or behind other furniture, a mimic will not linger too long to search for prey, okay. and will move on. Be safe and avoid any encounters with a mimic. You <laughs> can't dodge a nuclear bomb. So true. Oh, so right. So correct. So Next real. Up, what do we got? Oh, a funky egg! Oh. Oh dear. You missed a secret paper. Oh no. I'm sorry. I don't know where it is. Was there a secret paper after that scene? No, it was just... Okay, it was just glitching. Okay. Chew with your damn mouth closed! <laughs> you tell him! The absolute goal on this guy. 
chewing with his mouth open. Disgusting. Disgusting. Yucky. <laughs> it sounded kind of tasty. <laughs> I don't know, it sounded a lot like there was a lot of cartilage involved, and I don't really like eating cartilage. Thank you, Sarcastic Sulfur, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato, motherfucker eating him like he's an Arby's. <laughs> Delicious. Exquisite. The Harvester. Harvester! The Harvester is a large, bulbous mass Whoa. with a large amount of tendril spread. Does look the bulby. Base. The bulb measures around 3 meters in height and 2 meters in diameter. Okay. The tendrils, on the other hand, can extend up to 150 meters in diameter horizontally. That's <gasps> quite, that's quite, that's quite a what? That's quite a ways. Form of crawl that grows in a unique and deadly way. Okay. A harvester is created when a node that will grow into a harvester, instead of separating, continues to grow. Okay. Eventually, it will grow tendrils of its own. When I look at this, it just Ready. looks like it just looks like an aneurysm for me. <laughs> Like, I don't know if anybody else is getting that kind of vibe. It, it, it just looks like an aneurysm. It continues to grow. Eventually, it will That's grow quite large. of its own. Oh, dear. It uses the energy provided by its mother branch and expands its reach further. Cool. Its tendrils, hidden just below the surface of the ground. Cool. The harvester is equipped with two types of specialized tendrils. Oh. The first type is bulky and flat. Wow. They lie the closest to the surface. Spooky. These branches are lined on each length of the tendril with spines, extending in the shape of a bear trap. On each side hmm. of the branch, those particular spines have a vein that feed into them, that pump two types of venom. On one side, Whoa. the spines can inject a neurotoxin, which will attack the nervous system of whomever it is injected into, Whoa. causing sudden paralysis. Well, that's not good. The other side can inject an anticoagulant, oh. which when injected, prevents blood cells from clotting. Oh, that's not good. That's, that's not good Whenever at all. When a large animal moves across the area armed with these dendrils, the branches will dendrils. clamp onto the animal and thrash violently. Once the prey has been injected with both venoms, the tendrils will rest and the prey will immediately collapse. The animal <sighs> will be unable to move due to the paralysis, and the wounds caused by the thrashing spines More reason will to not, not go outside. Bleeding. Thank All goodness. the prey can do is lie patiently. Didn't need any more of those. Blood loss. Once the prey has bled out, the second type of tendrils come in. They lie below the spine equipped once. These branches are thick, but very sturdy. They share similar anatomy to the small branches of the crawl, okay. equipped with organelle that absorbs nutrients. Okay. These tendrils sense the blood and move their way to the surface and begin to absorb the vital fluid. Oh, cool! Once the blood has been consumed, the tendrils will wrap around the body and begin to shuffle downwards. This movement loosens the soil and slowly pull the body underground. Oh! Once secure, the tendrils will How continue efficient. to feed until there is nothing wow. but scraps. Cool! That's that's great! You guys just wanted to let you know I listened to your glimpse of us cover like 30 times. It's amazing. Thank you! I'm so glad you like it! <laughs> The nourishment Look, of how are you doing? <sighs> My heart hurts. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm tremoring. I'm, I'm like one of those terrified rabbits right now. Absorbed by the tendrils will be sucked back into the main. Yeah, but this totally seems like a game concept, don't you think? Harvester. Isn't that cool? This bulb house Does it leave the skull for the meat snake? Yeah, we're all worrying about our bro meat snake. Does all the vital organs. Like, want to take a break? Nah, I'm okay. Into the spines, the nutrients are then converted into usable energy. Mm. The remains underground decompose, providing a rich soil, causing very prominent plant growth, ah. which then attracts more animals. Ah, so it's like a cycle. A That's pretty smart. Behavior, the harvester displays. Your heart hurts? Let me rip it from your body so that it doesn't hurt. Thank you, my hero. It's its choice of diet. <laughs> the spines will only activate on larger animals, allowing smaller ones to pass by unaffected. Ah, oh, so you eat the, the predators. The spines will also not activate on some species of bird. bird. There are a couple theories as to why this happens. One, it could be that attacking smaller animals would cost too much energy for what they get in return. Have you ever heard of the Mystery Flesh Pit National Park? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I have. It's so cool. Time. Okay, Another, well, we gotta watch that, that some other time. Animals may attract larger animals or predators, yeah. allowing a safe place where prey may thrive and lure more predators. It truly is yeah. astonishing. So it's kind of like a scene. Although it is a spectacular creature, it is also very dangerous. It's like symbiotic, mutualistic. It's decently rare, 
only populating sparse areas. I'm safe. Fuck you, America. In the northern hemisphere <laughs> and woodland forests. If you are stunned by a harvester, there will be no way of helping. I'm safe. You, being that there is I won't no die cure, from it. And fatality is 100% positive. Bro. <laughs> no what cure, was that? And fatality is 100% positive. Oh, there was a newspaper article. I need to see the newspaper. Did I miss it? Sent positive. What? There it is. Family attacked by harvester while hiking. Authorities refuse to handle the harvester. But why? The best thing you can do is avoid encountering a harvester. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. If this thing is in America, why are we measuring it in not freedom units? <laughs> Maybe it was discovered in Asia first or something. Maybe? Asia and Europe. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we're in Europe. Harvester, there will be no way of helping you, being that there is no cure, and fatality is 100% Heck yeah! Popular. A hundred percent fatality rate. We love that. The, the fuck is a kilometer? Is <laughs> Hang in there, everyone. In the first place. Okay. If you hiking, take note of any warnings or signs saying that there are harvesters around. If you also okay. notice Okay. But if the fatality rate is a hundred percent, how would you know? How, uh, who, who's out here not getting eaten by a harvester and putting signs abundance up? Abundance of lush, ground-dwelling plants in a forested area, and there are no signs of wildlife. This is suspicious and you should leave the area. Okay. Staying close to the base of large trees or rocks. If you find yourself in the middle of a harvester ground, do not panic. Okay. Some movements may activate the tendrils and will inject you. Although a harvester is rather forgiving. Screams and confused freedom units. Skin. Um, a kilometer is like... Uh, fuck. What's like a freedom unit I compare it to? It's like, uh, it's like some amount of soccer fields. You got this? <laughs> How's that? Does it feel better now? Movements. Remain calm. If you have any objects with considerable heft, like coats, backpacks, or full water bottles, gently take that object and lightly toss it towards the bulb and away from your escape route. This will activate the spines on where the object lands, distracting the bulb for a moment. You will then slowly- I hate how it sounds like the bulb has consciousness. You will distract the bulb. Does that mean it's like... It's not good at multitasking? We begin to do wide shuffles away from the bulb. If possible, throw another object when you are certain you are a fair enough distance away, just to be safe. Continue until you are completely sure you are out of harm's way. You may come out unscathed, but don't be too obnoxious. Or you will be a harvester's next meal. Okay. The bulb can't be a VTuber. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what is that? What? What? Wait, oh, 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 go back. Go back. Go back. I saw. I saw a thing. What is that? What are those little dudes? What's up with the little dudes? They're so cute. They're kind of cute, actually. They're, they're, they're actually really cute. Those little dudes. Those cute little dudes. Outside the cave during a time of hardship, the island critters. The critters were struggling in something. There was barely any food to go around. They would go and gather whatever they could. Mm. So this is the prince story again, right? The what? The heartless. Like, like from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> like from Kingdom, like from Kingdom Hearts? Can we orbital drop a tungsten rod on the bulb? <laughs> Squish? The host of influence. The host of influence. Okay. The host of influence, more commonly referred to as the host, the has host. its name derived from a host who invites guests <laughs> to an event. I sure hope he serves tiny martinis and little weenies. Not to be confused Instead with of host, killing people. a of parasites or disease. Okay. The host is a semi-humanoid-looking organism. <laughs> It has the structure of a head, torso, wow. and arms. Wow. Other than this, it shares no other characteristics. Okay. The lower half of the host is comprised of a mass of fibrous tissue and tendrils. Is it crawl? That grow into the ground to hold the host in Is place. it like crawl? Instead What's it of made skin, of? The host is covered in Look muscular the tissue fibers. Speaking of which, did the cameraman survive any of these attacks or is it or, or is the cameraman dead?
tendons. Oh and god, they're influencers! No, they probably they probably TikTok dance with their arms. No. In some parts of to be age, the those kind of looks like my cousin from Ohio. I think your cousin may be maybe a Vita Carnish. The body are covered in a meaty plate used to cover any large exposed areas, but allowing movement. Wow. The host's head has a smooth surface where the face should be, attached to oh. a crooked neck, which houses oh, a Oh, crook like the crooked man, oh my goodness. In the front is this a reference? Feeding. A slit in the neck, On okay, the I mean, I, I guess. Pores. Protruding from these pores are a hollow, hair-like structures, extending outwards. Funky. These hairs are barrels that release spores produced barrels. within host's spores? body. Spores? What is this, the last the of us? These spores are hazardous, so keep clear of them at all costs. Okay. Oh, 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 about the host is a very risky and daunting task. Not this America again, of the damn it. <laughs> how dangerous it is to be up close to one. The sores released by a host is fuck very you too, dangerous. Yuka. No, fuck you, <laughs> a host will release a cloud of spores into the air. Stop releasing abominations from Ohio. God damn it, guys. Wind and carried great distances. If an organism inhales the spores. Yuka, the can I move to Australia? Okay, I mean, as long as the immigration people let you, Articles go for it. Particles will find their way into the organism's brain and infect them. Oh, so it is like The Last of Us. An infected organism will show no symptoms of infection right away. But a oh. couple hours after infection, the it's infected like organism's behavior and thought process will oh. change. The first symptoms that appear are restlessness, sluggish movement, numbness of joints, and lack of coordination. But fuck, I'm always like that. Am I infected? <laughs> Then more uh -oh. serious symptoms appear over time. These include dizziness, migraines, impaired speech, and trembles. I have those! I have those! Oh my gosh, that's me! Me for real, guys. Guys, that's me on screen right now. That green guy, that's me. That's just me. <laughs> We're all infected! Let's go! We're all dead! If you or someone you know show these symptoms, contact poison control or emergency services. After a total of six to seven this hours, this just turns into zombies, man. The organism will cease Let's all see. activities they were previously doing and begin to walk. Okay. Oh, okay. We're walk. Is. We're filming while walking because we're cool. Infected will walk is towards the host whose spores have been inhaled by the infected individual. Okay. Yuka had it. Yuka's patient zero, but I can't have it because I'm in Australia and they don't exist in Australia. But you guys could. You guys could. So, so you guys better watch out. <laughs> their way to the host. They will kneel down in front of it. <laughs> Points at chat. Yes, authorities. All these guys are infected. Expose their vital organs, and the host will promptly gut and remove those organs. Is this cult activity? The host will consume them and discard yum, 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 the yum, yum. Delicious scraps. organs! However, if an infected organism doesn't reach the host within a 36... They went to Japan, yeah, but they, they don't exist in Japan either. They're just America. ...hour span or is treated for their infection, the effects will wear off and return back to normal. Oh, cool. Oh, so there is a cure for this one. If cool, the host that's is nice. Unable to find prey or I would kneel for Yuka, maybe I am infected. Would you give me your organs? <laughs> Would you willingly let me take your liver? Doesn't like its current location. It will unroot itself and move to a new location. Oh, they can do that. Their scarce Funky. numbers and the hazard of being around one makes getting info about the host very daunting. The only known photos of all a living host. All you need host. to currently oh. know is that the host is extremely dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. If you're forced to join join the hive mind, be the loudest voice. I'm gonna be the most annoying member of the collector. I'm gonna just scream among us over and over again until everyone gets sick of me and kicks me out of the hive mind. <laughs> Next, the monoliths. The monoliths. What are those? What? What? Red red circle. What's up with the red circle? Although one day 
The critters found the cave while searching for food. They found the prince in a trance in his healing sleep. The critters were so awestruck and enchanted by the prince's magic. Okay. They look like they're wearing little banana suits. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else sees that. They look like they're wearing banana suits. And I like that. I'm a fan. Bro just walks after eating a heart. <laughs> What if the host is destroyed before the spores start affecting you? Maybe you just go to where the host used to be and you just stand there looking awkward. Maybe. I don't know. Yuka, if I refuse to share my nuggets, why would I give you my organs? I don't know! You know, some people, some people place value on nuggets more than their own organs. It's just, it's just, you know... It's, it's different for everyone. I forgot that one. Sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. That one was easy to read for some reason. Oh, banana gnomes. I love the banana gnomes. They're so cute. Viewer discretion is advised. The monoliths. Monoliths. Is this what we're praising? Is this what we're praising when we praise the monolith? The monolith is a very new creature. Only showing up in June of 1972. In the area of... Whoa! Owie! There are only seven monoliths. Seven. All of them located in a circular position. Wow. One and a half kilometers in diameter. Don't worry, guys. There's freedom units in there. It's 0.93 miles. This ring of monoliths. Praise the monolith. Ah! The monolith is a titanic-sized being, measuring roughly 120 meters in height. Each monolith has two trunk legs that are firmly embedded underground. Whoa. The legs connect to a torso. Well, that's tall! The creature itself is made of hundreds Praise of the thousands monolith. of <laughs> strands, tightly woven together to form the structure. It's the Ohio circle. It is America, isn't it? It feels like it would be America. <laughs> fusing into a solid mass of hardened flesh in the Remember when we started and it was, they are just kind of ugly, but benign? Look at how far we've come. Yeah, what happened to the trimmings? They were so cute. Now we're just under like cosmic horrors. Shape of an upside down what is this? With a hole in I just joined now. I can't hear. I'm sorry. On the side of the monolith where arms would be. There are dozens Guys, of long, squiggly tubes. Like appendages. These reach just barely to the ground. Wow. At the creature's feet, the strands go feet. deep into the earth and extend horizontally a decent distance away. Oh. What the monoliths do is simply stand and do nothing. Funky. The only activity documented that the monoliths have done was in... Yo, any geo guesser guys want to guess where these monoliths are? What is this place? Anyone, anyone know what park this is? During this period, they were extremely aggressive. When the group of... Uh... And ...were making their way to the city. The monolith that they had passes roared a deep bellow and the swung its appendages at the team. Completely oh. wiping them out. Oh no. When military vehicles were dispatched, once they got close enough to top the monolith, it roared another call, this time releasing an EMP blast, completely knocking the vehicles out in the vicinity. Oh. Finally, long distance rockets were fired and struck the creature. Why is this guy swearing so much? <laughs> Stop it. Your your words are obscene. Thank you. Oh, wait, hold on. Someone's got a theory. My theory. Rob, Rob's theory. Rob's theory is that the monoliths are likely where the host of influences are. Because if you're going to worship these weird flesh creatures, you might as well worship it near the cosmic horrors. So true. I wonder if they're making like some kind of spooky, um... Seven, uh, sep septagram. <laughs> I wonder if they're making a septagram on the floor or something. Because there's seven of them, right? There's, sev there's seven of them. I wonder if they're doing like an alchemical circle. What's going on with this? Oh! <laughs> Orbital tun tungsten rod drop. Let's go! Ah! 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 He was jiggling! He was jiggling! He was throwing it back! It regenerated at great speed and resumed its stance unscathed. Mm. Eventually, the area has been fenced off and is now restricted to all. Ever yeah. since, the monoliths stand silently. Now only a grand spectacle of awe and mystery, only adding more questions Wiggling. to these beings. <laughs> and finally, the last creature on this list is... I see! The majestic world Circle! Today. It's as extraordinary. My favorite creature is Circle. Have such strange and mysterious beings appear all around us. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery of the lives of these living meat creatures. Come back, there's something. Well, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What did we miss? What did, what did we miss? The planet? What happened on the planet? What's wrong on the planet? The moon? What, what do you mean the moon? What happened to the moon? Can we eat it? Some quick stuffs. What stuffs? What what stuffs? A little further. Marvelous and majestic world that exists today. Okay. It's as extraordinary to have oh, okay. such strange and mysterious okay. beings appear okay. all around us. Thank you for joining us what? on this journey of exploration and discovery of the law. The moon is a meat creature. The moon? Beings. What this bit? Go back finally, more? The last creature on this list is That one, right? That one? Did I miss something? There's a picture of the earth. What's up with the earth? What's wrong with the earth? I cannot... I cannot see. <laughs> I, it's too red. I cannot see anything. Is that... Is that the earth? What's up with it? What's wrong? A little further. A little further back? Next frame. Oh! The banana creatures! They're back. Hold on. Banana creatures. Yeah, banana creatures! Hello! Bananas. I can't read that. Blah. Who is this creature? Why are they here? Are they dangerous? A thought was brought up. What if this creature could use its magic to help them? It may grow food or heal sickness. Oh. Banana and boys. They continue to argue about the prince and his magic. And in the end, the majority of the creatures agreed that the prince was dangerous and should not be meddled with. Okay. Good, good job! Best not to mess with things that you don't understand. Marvelous and majestic world that exists today. It's as extraordinary to have such strange and mysterious beings appear all around us. Oh. Thank you for- The Earth is infected! The Earth is a creature! The Earth spawned humanity! <laughs> what? What? Joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery of the lives of these living meat creatures. You wanna know something truly horrifying? I hot hot chocolate, that's actually mushrooms. What?! Hot chocolate, that's mushroom. Why?! Why would that happen? I can't believe this. The Earth is actually a cube. <gasps> the Earth is a cube? Always has been. <laughs> now the moon has to be a cheese creature. It's simply impossible for it to be anything else. That's true, that's true. Alright, what we got? Full footage. Okay, hold on. I guess... I think we... We skipped to the end, right? For this one? Do we? Well, this is just like recounting everything, right? All right, we'll skip to the end. On planet Earth, life has thrived for millions of years. Creatures big they and stream small lag. have Hello. found ways to adapt. Are you, are you back? Is everything okay in now? All types of environments. Everything all right? That's hefty. That's a hefty fine. <laughs> you hot hot chocolate? How dare you? <laughs> watch, watch the very end of the full documentary. Okay, I will watch. Ah, uh, this looks like a good place to drop off of, right? Is this okay? Maybe a little further. And finally, the last creature on this list is... The circle! <laughs> wow, my ears! Okay. The singularity is an orb of a dark colored mineral with hints of luminous colors with... Mineral! I crave that core. mineral. The singularity is estimated to be one... Someone saying har in the distance, all I can think of is har 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 that has been documented coming from the orb itself. Various things like magnetic fields, energy signatures, and other pattern-like signals released by the singularity. The population of these creatures is unknown. Almost all info about the singularity is hidden or confiscated by officials. We were only able to receive one classified document about the singularity being held by... Oh! Marvelous and majestic world that is... exists today. 
It's as extraordinary hi? to have such strange and mysterious hi, 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 all around hi, us. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you hi? for joining us on this hi? journey of exploration hi? and discovery of the hi? lives of these living meat creatures. How can we be sure that the singularity is a meat creature? It doesn't look like it's made of meat. It's made of mineral, right? Huh? Har, 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 huh? This could be the greatest discovery. All right, hold on. This is another video. It's called Vita Carnis Cook at Home Kitchen Cheese Crawl Penne Cook Along. Mmm, delicious. I love penne. I don't know about you guys. Thank you, AK, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato. Perhaps it is we who are the meat creatures, Yuka. I mean, that would make sense. I am made pretty, 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 a good proportion of me is flesh. You know? The age. Baby. Baby. Don't let this feeling end. Have any information of the whereabouts of what happened? Hold on, this, this seems like an important thing. Wanted by the CSIS? What's CSIS? Interprovincial Travel Production of Sensitive Material. Vincent Barrere. Okay. O okay. He's Canadian. He's Canadian, so he's unaffected. Let's go. You can stop changing the channel. I but I'm not interested in these. Be making a dish that has recently Whoa. gained a fair amount of popularity. Is that a bean? Dish oh my god. A cheesy crawl penne. Yum. Cook at home kitchen. That's my skill level of editing right there. That's how I edit. To start off, these will be the ingredients you will need. So calming. Three cups of penne pasta. Wow. Roughly three cups worth of fresh crawl. Wow! Try to get a variety of sizes when you buy yours, or when you harvest them yourself. Cool! One cup of cheese. Half Jeez. a cup of green onion. One teaspoon of salt. Oh, that's green onion! I thought, I thought, my, my idiot self thought those were beans! Spoons of Cajun spice. Two tablespoons That's a lot of, of Cajun. Parsley. That's, that's a lot of parsley. Of dill. That's a lot of dill. Tablespoon of garlic. That's not enough garlic. Of pepper. And finally, the most crucial ingredient. New Trier Company's newly released flavor enhancer. Oh. To bring out the richness of flavors within each and every meal. MSG? First, get a medium-sized pot and fill half of it with water. Okay. Oh no, why? Oh no! Come on, name it something interesting! <laughs> Add a pitch of they should salt. try naming it better. I don't think Flavor Enhancer is, is appealing enough to the masses. Have you tried Flavor Explosion Cheese Flavor or something, you know? Have you, have you tried that? Which is used to help the pot come to a boil faster and help flavor the pasta. Then, yeah, they should call it the Flavor Mancer. <laughs> yeah, something like that. That's cool. Grab your crawl and a sharp knife. Begin to cut the meat into a rough mince. Do you not cut off the black bits? Can you eat that as well? Yeah, it's juicy. What's up with that? Add the explosion sound. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. It disgusts me, just like regular meat! Every time you hear it, every time you say it, an explosion must Raw be heard. Try our up. Flavor Mancer 9000! Boom! <laughs> Side. Why, does it, why does the chef dress like a serial killer getting rid of a body? He does! Yeah, What's up with that? A surprising sturdiness. Sharpen your knife better! Boo! Then, gather the meat and... Flavor Mancy, arcane art of diners, drive in and dives. Yeah, exactly! Something like that! That would be great. You can have like a little wizard guy as like, as like your, your little, um, mascot. It would be so cute. Aside. Is that meat even washed? You're supposed to wash meat? 
Dude, he didn't even cut that piece. That one's like fully intact. Oh, if you're gonna, if you're gonna slack on your job, why not just use a food processor? <laughs> Where's Gordon Ramsay? I'm pissed. Bro, you're not even cutting your You're not even cutting your oh, Look at those pathetic chops. Put some back into it. My gosh. You're on a cooking show. You're supposed to be good at cooking. Cross contamination. I hope they're cooking those green onions. This is not OSHA compliant. So true. Evenly across the skillet. Oh my goodness. There's like whole chunks in there! Europe this guy sucks! Boo! 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 <laughs> As your water reaches a boil, add your penne and stir it <laughs> This is like this is like VTuber levels of cooking skill. <laughs> Pink sauce recipe! Oh my gosh, stop! Cook until soft. Sir, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's not on At this time. Your crawl you, you, you were mixing it, but it wasn't on a stove. I don't really know what you're doing here, unless if there's like electrical heating implement under that tablecloth. I don't. I don't think you're doing much. I don't. I don't think you're doing much. That mimic sucks at cooking. So true. I wonder if they're trying to get us to eat crawls so we can get like crawl integrated into us. You know, like like the ne like the necromorphs of Dead Space. I'm your crawl will be brown and crisp. Wow. It w uh, how? How did that happen? It was like really shittily cut and now it's finely minced. I'm... Whoa! Add your minced green onion and then the spices. Those green onions are still a tragedy. I'm pissed. Pissed at the green onions. The movie it's magic, well. Yuka. Was he like, this is something I prepared earlier? Once your pasta is finished cooking, strain it. Okay. Salt the water though. But, but did he but did he salt the water? <laughs> did he salt the water though? It looks like Minecraft dirt. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Then add the crawl topping. Okay. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. He's really getting in there. He's like shoving... He's shoving his heating implement into his pasta. <laughs> it's dirty. <laughs> Sprinkle a generous amount of cheese along the still warm crawl for it to melt. Are you gonna put it under the broiler or is it just gonna... You're just gonna leave it like that. No wonder I thought the green onions were beans. They, they're completely uncooked. Preparing the dish with your flavor and is he wearing a gas mask? Maybe the spores? To cool to a temperature below well, that guy on the guitar suddenly freaked out for some reason. 60 degrees Celsius, or else the enhancer will not work. It's not enough cheese, that's true. It's not enough cheese. You need more. More cheese. And the real analog horror is this terrible cooking. You may serve and enjoy. Bro, your cheese isn't gonna melt like that. Put it under the broiler. Just give it a couple minutes in the broiler. My goodness. I'm stressed. I'm stressed! What's up? What's going on? Oh, it's windy in here! Oh my god, it's so windy! Holy shit, there's a lot of wind! Oh my goodness, what was up with that? What was up with the wind, bro? They didn't even put the cheese on evenly. Yeah, I'm not sure... <laughs> I can't enjoy this! I can't enjoy this! This is unenjoyable! There was a thing. I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I can't. I have night blindness. Can somebody please describe what happened? <laughs> I'm deaf and I'm blind. Oh God! My eyeballs, my ears, everything hurts. God was mad at that me. <laughs> Thank you, Renovolt, for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato. That was absolutely terrible. I'm sobbing right now. That is true. I'm sobbing right now. I can't handle this. Right before the outro credits, we'll go back and take another look at it. Take another look at it, sorry, excuse me. Oh, yep, yeah, there was. Okay, go back.
What is it? Oh, it's another chapter! Okay, um... I can't get myself a good frame. <laughs> this looks terrible! This looks terrible! Anyone got the translation for this one? If Furio made a reverse lasagna. Although the other critters learned the... Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, thank you, Arcade Punk! You are a hero, for real. Although the other critters ignored the rest of their fellow kind. Instead, they secretly visited the slumbering visitor. Hmm. Hmm, the pasta was not seasoned. <gasps> I can't believe this. I'm going to cry. I'm solving unseasoned pasta? That's it. That's it. I'm, I, I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch Vita Carnist anymore. This is too scary. This is too scary. They snuck what little food they had and fed them to the prince, greatly hastening his recovery. Ah! Oh, what sweethearts! Those little banana guys are really, really cute, actually. Many what do we got? Vita Carnist, Guide to Owning a Pet Trimming. Alright, here we go. Everyone who wants to own a pet trimming, pay attention! Many people get pets for companionship. They form bonds and grow relationships with these animals. He spilled water everywhere when he was pouring it into the pot. Wait, really? I didn't see that part. To the point of them being considered a part of the family. The food was the unseasoned past and the prince died. <laughs> no! <laughs> Most people get dogs or cats. But okay. maybe you want something more interesting. Then you can, can we go back and watch the mimic coming through the door again? Why? Why do you want to watch that? Why does it, does it make you happy? I thought Miss Whiskers didn't want to hear loud noises. They want to get yourself a trimming. Oh. These lumps of meat have grown oh, a it's so happy. to be a loving companion for many people in the recent months. I wonder if it feels slimy. Although, most people may not know the it proper looks ways to care for them. Today, we will be showing you how you can care for your pet trimming. Like a weird turtle. Taking care of a trimming is fairly easy. Oh, this one's swollen. No slack off. It's got like poop on its butt. And do require maintenance. The first thing to keep in mind when keeping a trimming is the temperature of your home. Yeah, what do we set the While thermostat at? resilient to both high and low conditions, you want to keep your base temperature near room temp, maybe slightly cooler. Fair. That being said, trimmings prefer warmer areas to nest. A simple setup you may use is a box with some blankets on the inside. Nice! Make sure there is enough for your trimming to cover itself. Would a little cat house and work? Aww! Oh, oh look buddy. at him! He's snuggling! That's pretty cute. He Next, seems very polite. You want to give your trimming the best diet possible. But what is that in freedom units? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. are not picky eaters and will eat anything you give them. Angelica is such a cute trimming name. healthy and strong, a diet of dry 18 cats C? or dogs. 18 carrots. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's uh, the temperature is uh, normal temperature. Just keep your keep your house at normal temperature, and it'll be fine. Food that is high in protein, provided two times a day, is best. Is that cat food? As a treat, you may give your trimming any scraps of your food. Oh. Things like apple cores, banana peels, or eggshells are a perfect snack. A what about onions? Can it eat onions? I know a lot of animals can't eat onions. Can it eat onions? Thing to remember is trimmings are nocturnal and make plenty of noise. Me, that's what I sound like. To prevent <laughs> nights, it's me. Try to give your me for real. But <laughs> banana <or> peel. <laughs> This helps them be active during these times instead. Another thing to consider if you want a pet trimming is where they will be living. Your home should have enough space for your trimming to roam around, as well as access to the outdoors, like a backyard. Oh, I need grass. If not, be sure That's to take cute. your trimmings on regular walks. Oh, it screams at night? Hell nah. I mean, cats scream at night too. <laughs> There, there have been very, very many nights where I, where I settle myself into bed and I just hear Meatloaf going, meow, 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 like all night, the poor baby. 
This gives your trimming the Whoa, what's that green you? stuff? Oh, fuck, I forgot. We all play League of Legends here. <laughs> we don't know what those are. <laughs> Thank you, Arcade Punk, for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato. You have to be careful to keep them safe. My poor trimming snuck out once, and a dog got a hold of him. He's okay, but now he's only got four limbs. Now every time I take him for walks, people freak out, think I've got, thinking I've got a pet mimic. Aww. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, poor baby. Yeah, make sure your fences are secure if you let your trimming out into your backyard. As well as allowing them to meet other trimmings. Trimmings are a social creature and need to interact with others of their kind, like how they do in the How wild. dare you! I may have played Dota once, but I've never played League. Okay, okay. When it comes to entertainment, Trimmings are not the most active, and aren't Ooh. the best at fetch or tug of war. He's doing his best. But here are other ways to keep your trimming entertained. Some toys that trimmings like are <laughs> Trimming to trimming communication. So they can push, <laughs> around, pull, or carry. Trimmings also enjoy things that you enjoy as well. I want to like roll it around. What, really? To the radio. They love seeing and listening to all the funny things coming from the device. They're collecting information. They're they're government agents. They're they're government agents. They're li they're listening in on you. They're we 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 said we should be afraid of pigeons, but we should be scared of trimmings. What was that? Did it just bug out for no reason? It's like nothing in it. It's just it's just blue stuff. Okay, cool. After a long day, your trimming might be dirty and need a wash. Okay. To clean them, start your bath with a gentle warm water mixed with a bit of hand or body wash. Gently scrub the trimming's feet, armpits, belly, and neck fold. Okay. Remember to be careful around their face and avoid getting soap in their eyes, nose, and mouth. Every time I've seen a trimming, it's, have, a it's had its done. eyes closed though. Does now it even your use them? Is all clean. Why does it look so damn crusty? And lastly, as said before, trimmings are social creatures, so be sure to give them plenty it of affection. It's kind of cute. It's, ca it's still kind of cute. Pads, they booped, did they? And Go back, things. I need to... Oh, that's so cute! You kind of missed the nose, but that's, that's a boop. That's a boop. I see that. Invasive horror species. Lastly, Can I pet it? As said before, <laughs> trimmings are social creatures. Be pet sure the baby. Look at him. They love He's happy. Pets, Look at that little smile. They also love to sit with you and cuddle. Aww. Since they communicate with each other in the wild, it is best to replicate this behavior with them as well. Simply talking to them is plenty enough. You can talk about your day. If anything interesting happened at work, if you are working on any new recipes, or talk about the weather. Trimmings are very good listeners, and love to be involved. It's so cute. It's a, it's a little streaming meatball baby. Time. That's, that's, you yeah, that's perfect. Well that's what it is. Trimming become a part of the family. It's a little meatball. Do things right, and you will have a companion for a long while. Uh, they live 8 to 12 years? I thought they lived 2 to 4. Huh? Didn't they, didn't they say they lived 2 to 4? How come it's... How come it's changed? You are now well equipped to have a trimming become a part of the family. Is, is it just like lifespan you in the wild right, versus in captivity, you maybe? you have for a long while. Huh. They live as long as a small child. Wait, that was a weird way to put it. That was a really weird way to put it. My bad. Oh, what's happening? What are we writing? Oh, we have, we have, we have another thingy. What is it? Oh, one day the prince awoke suddenly. Thanks to the critter's assistance, the healing process had finished very quickly. The prince had fully recovered and was now fully awake and aware of their surroundings. Surprised by the sudden awakening, the, <laughs> the banana boys revived the prince. They did it! They did it, those funky little banana babies! <laughs> Yuka da da da. Why Yuka da da da? <laughs> Why Yuka da da? I didn't. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that at all. <laughs> Yuka. Either way, the banana boys did it. 
I love the Banana Boys. They're so cute. All right, next episode. What else we got? What else we got? More to come. We've got Meat Snake Specimen archived footage. All right, we've got some found footage, I guess. You could, do you have children in your basement? No, of course not. I would never have children in my basement. They're too noisy and they require too much upkeep. All right, you got a call in the night. Okay, bye bye. Thanks for joining the stream. Bye bye, drag. Okay, what's happening here? Yuka, am I a trimming? I'm a good listener, but I can't wash my own armpits. Just like a trimming. <laughs> Maybe you are a trimming. Oh my gosh, you're a meatball baby. So you tried. What? No? No, of course not. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, warning, the, un uh, the unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or viewing of the following footage is strictly prohibited. Infringement of these instructions leads to severe penalties enforced by federal law. Discard this tape of me. Oops! Well, I guess I'm going to prison. I sometimes make weird noises at night. I make weird noises at night all the time. <laughs> There's just so there's just something about like going almost to sleep that makes you wanna like make funny noises. Like sometimes I'll just lie in bed playing my phone games and just go every couple of minutes <laughs> like like some kind of zombie. In the year of 1945, Ooh. with the war finally ended, the cleanup process had started. During routine sweep of an underground train tunnel, Whoa. the cleanup crew made a grotesque discovery. Found completely filling the tunnel was a meaty wall, and in the center of the mass was an opening with several skulls surrounding it. Wow. Closer inspection of the blockage revealed that the mass was actually an extremely engorged meat snake. It's impeccable. This is the one from the newspaper clipping. The entirety of the tunnel. Oh yeah, the monster. No, <laughs> do, do not fall for the monster. Stop it. There was many strange things with this creature. First was the coloration. A typical meat snake's color is bright reds and light browns. Mm. This particular meat snake was a very deep maroon. Deep maroon. Another strange thing about it was its what color? This creature barely moved. Meat snakes are normally sluggish and encumbersome, but the specimen discovered seemed to lack even basic motor functions. M m me? <laughs> It's behavior. Yuka, why are we looking at a funky butthole? It's not a butthole, it's a meat snake! Stop stop thinking about bad it was things! Out of plants. Stationary, with only minor movements within. One would assume it was dead. The reason the meat snake may act this way may be because it was completely lodged in place and minimized movements to conserve energy. But how would it have gotten this deep into the tunnel in the <laughs> Shut! Shut up! <laughs> Fun fact, I actually own this meat snake, and it actually visited your mom last night. <laughs> you fucking... You dickhead! <laughs> Stop! The first place. And by the looks of... You're so dirty! You're all yucky! For quite some time. So how did it get so large? The answer was discovered by a different cleaning crew. Who okay. found the other end of the tunnel. Ooh. They followed it until it met with the other end of the meat snake. Alongside it was a huge pile of cock. Oh, a huge pile of cock. Uh, cock. <laughs> no, it just gets worse. Look at all those corpses. Everyone's dead in there. Heck yeah. I mean, heck no. That's terrible. You hey, how come you guys can make dirty jokes and I can't? Fuck you. Yeah. Snake skin also displayed great <laughs> a huge pile of cock. <laughs> Of resilience. So much cork, yeah, took... cork, right? The thing, the thing you put in between your tiles. It, it's just really water resistant in there, it's you know. Days of cutting to even obtain a sample. Here, you can see the clear difference between this meat snake Whoa, specimen versus cool. it looks a like a big scab. membrane. Testing on the sample showed that it had great immunity to damage. It tolerated. You're putting what in your tiles? Cork. <laughs> temperatures, extreme really? heat temperatures, and even high doses of radiation. Wow, so it's a really strong it snake. It's a wonder how such durability can occur in an organic creature. Another strange phenomenon Meatloaf? is the smell off the skin. 
Normally, What's it smell like? Normally, you have a sour smell of rotting flesh. Yes. But the specimen displayed a rather pleasant smell. Oh. Like that of cooking scrambled eggs. Oh. Meat snake was later I, discovered I like, to be... I like scrambled eggs. ...missing by unknown sir. What? It's miss... Oh, who's, who the fuck is that? Who's that? Show me that man. Show me that man. I don't know who that is. I can't tell. It's just some guy. How the meat snake grew in size was discovered to be... Discovered to be what? He's gonna. One of the critters built up the courage to meet the now awake stranger. They crawled to the prince's side and extended their hand in friendship. The prince reached back, and together they formed the bond that will change their fate. Wow. Funky. Well, what what was that bond? What did they do with it? Oh, watch out, guys! The following content may contain suicide or self harm talk. Did we just skip it? Did we just skip it by accident? Yes. Hold on. Play. Play it! Play it! Do not be a coward! It's not letting me play it! Wah! Okay, I guess we skip that one then. We skip, we skip it. It's not letting me watch it. It's not letting me watch it. It's like, no. No, you can't watch this video. You'll die. You'll die instantly. Hold on, let me see if I can... I can open it separately. What's it called? It was called... Mimic Defense Instructional Tape. Instructional Tape. Maybe if I open it separately, it'll work. Oh, it works! Okay, okay, it works. Alright. Be careful! By the way, this, this stream is not monetized, so... I already knew it would get kind of suspicious. So everyone, be careful! Be careful! Yeah. Mm. Are you ready? Let's watch it. As of the time of this video's release, we have been facing a concerning increase of missing persons and fatalities on a global turn scale. The, volume down. the reason for this is because we are under attack. We have discovered that there has been a significant growth of mimic populations, uh, which is threatening public safety. Fuck, I don't like National I don't like the mimics. That makes me stressed. Instructional recording to teach you is on that how to So so these National tapes are Canada be Canada can 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 Canada based. Oh! <gasps> Why was that so hard? Recording to teach you on how to the rotten egg that may come from your faucet is likely hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide, commonly called sulfur odors, sometimes are present in water fixtures of homes and businesses. Sulfur is a mineral that exists in nature and is commonly present in water supplies. You get a real good nose full of it if you ever go to a hot spring. Let me tell you. Oh my goodness. It smells like, it smells like rotting eggs all the time. Defend yourself. Here is what you need to know about Canadia. the threat. Mimics are humanoid, intelligent predators that are highly adaptive and feed on solely on human prey. Yeah. Mimics gain information on people by watching their daily lives and pick to hunt people when they are most vulnerable. I'm almost most vulnerable. The most vulnerable, common times a mimic honestly. will attack is when you are asleep, that walking alone, or in a cornered position. I'm constantly in a cornered position. Mimics are cautious I'm and calculative creatures, taking precautions to ensure a successful hunt. Whoa. They utilize various tactics to capture a person by surprise. One of the more well-known tactics is hiding itself inside of furniture, to blend into its environment. Meh. Common objects that mimics can hide inside is that, a, is that a phrase? Is, is that one of those chairs? Because recliners, wardrobes, ottomans, uh. and other places a mimic can comfortably wait. I hate that picture of that little, of the mimic guy just like in the freaking couch. I hate that! Get the fuck out of there! What are you doing? 
Mimics are able to contort their body in ways that allow them to fit inside. Oh, he's, he's being drawn like one of their French mimics. Smaller places. So cute. They also use it to expand oh, so scary. their body. Roar. Making themselves appear larger. I'm going to fight on the couch. <laughs> yes, biological warfare. Do it. For intimidation. Another method mimics use to blend in is their ability to put on and wear clothing. That's what I look like when mimics I'm in a put on layers of shirts, pants, and jackets to hide their bright red skin and blend into densely populated He's got the TPH, you pea creature eyes. In he very does, rare actually. cases, mimics but, but the can TPH develop creature and grow to look very similar to human beings. Pairing this with clothing, it can be very hard to tell the difference between... <laughs> I have a question. What happens if I throw a road roller on a mimic? <laughs> I don't know. Does does do mimics have stands? Do they get stands or not? Nah? Between a mimic and a person right away. If you are unsure if a person is a mimic, look out for key features that may reveal their true form. Look for abnormal facial features. The person on the right is just me. That's just a picture of me. Features. Like large. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Let's go look at that. Heck yeah. Oh, oh, baby! Oh, look at this lineup! Oh my goodness! Whew, I need to know the breeding habits. What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? Like large, bulbous eyes, flat noses, wide mouths in an uncanny smile, and clammy skin. Oh, I'm always clammy. Also pay attention to other exposed body parts like hands. Mimic people will have long fingers with no fingernails. They don't have fingernails? If you are unable to see their face or hands, watch their walking pattern. Mimic's legs are long and hunched. Okay. Their walking will be unusual and irregular. Okay. Here is what you do if you are met with a mimic. Okay. If it stands before you, do not panic. What if it sits? Stand your ground and try to appear larger. Well, that guy Wave grew. That guy grew like a couple inches. Stand your ground How do you do that? To I want to be able to do that. Larger. Wave your hands and make plenty of noise. Ow, 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 Maintain my contact. Okay. A mimic will hesitate to attack a potential threat. If you are armed with a weapon, aim for the head or legs. Okay. These are the best areas to hit to immobilize the threat. Mm, that's fair. That's Fight fair. Fight back and don't let it get a hold on you. If you find a mimic that hasn't discovered you yet... I should invest in a plasma cutter. Honestly. Stay out of sight. Call the authorities and alert them of your location. By praising Stay the sun, you can praise the sun! The ah, the sun! Your mighty if light shines upon this, us! Run. Run. Okay. Try to get somewhere out of sight and hide. Do not leave the area. Officials will need to locate you to help. Huh. Stay low and stay quiet. <laughs> Use a katana. I mean, no offense, but I'm pretty sure their arms are longer than a katana. With the information you have learned, use it well and stay safe. It said don't use weapons before, which is it? Yeah, that's true. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to use weapons or not use weapons? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, I don't like the I don't like the found stuff. I don't I don't like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Juan Cruz, for the super chat, super chat. I already got the plasma cutter funds. Thank you, my hero. You're going to save me from an untimely demise. What happened? Evidence tape, Christopher and Janice, case 1983. Observe footage for confidential information completed. Discard and destroy all copies of this tape. Emi 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 I'm going to throw a yuka at it. The cuteness will keep it occupied while I run. It's probably just gonna digest me, honestly. <laughs> we don't we don't use guns, we just shout at them and make them feel bad so they don't hurt us. Yeah, you're you're ugly! You got ugly facial features! I you would never make it in the K-pop industry! <laughs> There's no need to be mean. But but you guys told me to be mean to it. This video is from Canada because they don't have guns like America. Oh, does Canada not have guns either? 
You you need a lot of plastic for that face gunshot. <laughs> Christ, don't say it like that. Let's say what? What did I say? What did I say bad? I'm sorry. Still way too dark. One sec. There we go. Canada has way fewer guns. Oh. We deal with bears. We have guns. So, wait. Does Canada have... Sorry, Canada. Does Canada have guns or not have guns? I'm sorry, Canada. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mimic. Your mom is... <laughs> Yo, mama. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We got, we got some light now. Okay. But look at that over there. What? You can't see anything unless I like point directly over there. Spooky. You should get one of those flashlights that's like a bajillion lumens. Nope, can't see nothing. Are you sure we should be out this late? Fine. I'll cook you stuff when we get home. Don't worry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Man. Why is he filming if he's just gonna film the floor? Guys, take your bets now. Does he does he throw his girlfriend at it and run? Or does he does he take it on? Take your bets now, people. He did not just say too bad. <laughs> yeah, un unrealistic relationship. If, uh, if, if in real life you say too bad to a girlfriend saying they're hungry, the girlfriend just activates beast mode and gets really mad, goes on a rampage. That's totally how it works, right? Yes, she is slower. <laughs> Throw her to the wolves. <laughs> nah! <laughs> Dirty. Wait. Wait. Ah, shit. What? Right, but it still turns off and on randomly for some reason. What's up with this fucking flashlight placement, bro? If you're if you're using a flashlight, you use it to look at stuff around you. You don't just fucking point it at the ground. What's the point of you? <clears throat> Turning on and off, but it's the only thing that they would give me. It works, so I just gotta watch. This is gnarly. It's not my fault this guy lives in a fucking dump. We're almost there, we just gotta get through the woods. Where are they going? You see it though? What? Hopefully I show up on camera so. Uh, hopefully there are lights out there. Are they tracking down a mimic? There, right? oh, Can't be that bad. Pretty dark Feet POV. <laughs> Stop. But what if the girlfriend is the mimic? Guy. What is the what if the girlfriend I, is the mimic? I don't know mimic? why. Like why would they get rid of everything? Dogs barking are never a good sign. No. I never got the word flashlight as a name for the torch. It doesn't flash, it's a constant light. I guess so. That is a good that is that is a good point. But I feel like if you use torch, you get confused with like fantasy medieval torches. Really capture the ground. You know, you can't torch anything with a torch anymore. Unless if it's like super concentratable with like one of those funky magnifying lenses, you know? Who the fuck films but only aims at the ground? Yeah, we're judging. We're judging real hard. This guy sucks. Yeah, can can we just go to Taco Bell instead? Well, supposedly they found some guy, like it was like mimic girlfriend it fan was art like stuff. Brody scene, like it was disgusting. Like they, like they had to get rid of the trailer he was in, and then why didn't he just start recording when they got there? Why is he recording the whole thing? Like they didn't let anyone nearby. And like at this point, just take a few pictures. He's filming his garbage. Yeah, filming that. Hopefully, I get a good mark for it. There we go, we're getting close. 
Okay. Are we there yet? I'm hungry. I don't know what these people are doing. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that if there was anything like this, like actually out in the world, I would never step foot outside. I'd just be like, yep, I'm ordering Uber. I'm ordering Uber delivery for my groceries. Fuck that shit. It's just feeding grass. What am I supposed to be scared of? Dirt? Wah! Oh my goodness! It looks like it looks like minced crawl. Oh no! I know where we're going. Yeah, we're almost there. We're on the road. We're right next to it. Like, it's literally up there. What if the okay. Uber driver is a mimic? That's why you make them set the food down and uh and not come into the house, right? You don't meet them. You just you just yeah. make them plop the food down. Then you pick it up later. Soon, okay. We're almost there. Sorry. It'll be it'll, it'll be like five minutes. Five minutes, okay? We're on the road. We're almost there. We just got past the tree line. After all this walking, I don't think whatever is at the end of it is worth it. Yeah, why couldn't they have just like I don't know, taken any kind of safer route there? Like, I don't know, public transportation? Chasing you? And make the way to the trailer park. His girlfriend said she was hungry twice. I think it's her. Wait, no, that's isn't that just how girlfriends work? Okay. Okay. I don't want to be out here either. It's weird. Then why are you out here? See, we're right here. You go ahead. I can't. You can't see a thing. Where am I even going? Uh, just up here. There should be a path. Right there, yeah, right here. Okay. I don't know, we don't got girlfriends. Well, me as a daughter, I'm like that, so... <laughs> Whenever my dad takes me out anywhere, I'm just like, Dad, I'm hungry. Dad, I'm hungry. I want to eat somewhere. And he's like, where do you want to eat, sweetheart? And I'm just like, I don't know, Dad, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry, I need food. And there's always this conversation where it's like, Sweetheart, you gotta tell me what you want, or else I can't get you what you want. And I'm like, I don't know what I want, I'm just hungry. Please take me somewhere. I'm hungry. <laughs> He'll be like, what, what about that restaurant there? And I'm like, no, I don't feel like Italian food. I'm not, no, I'm just hungry though. Please, I'm just, I'm so hungry. <laughs> so that's why you're single? What? <laughs> Yuko's been a mimic this whole time. I was the mimic girlfriend. Oh God. God bless your dad's <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's walking in front of the guy, so in case a mimic pops out in front of them, you can just push her and get a head start. That's smart. No! <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Tree? Well, that tree's real interesting. Wow! We're finally getting an actual view of, like, not floor. This is great. After the first two restaurants were rejected, we default to McDonald's. Yeah, basically every time. It's always, like, either McDonald's, KFC, or, like, Hungry Jack's. <laughs> But I like the floor. Well, we're back to the floor now, so... Look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. Now we're just staring at feet. Alright, hold on. I've gotten a good look at the girlfriend's hands. She doesn't have long spindly fingers, and it looks like she has fingernails. So I don't think she's a mimic. I'm sorry for those who are disappointed. Yeah, those are some regular hands. You could just self-reported she is a mimic. I'm not a mimic! I haven't had KFC in so long. KFC is so good. I'm hungry. I want KFC. What? 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 What is it? 
A car door? Cool. What? 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 Show us, you fucking like asshole! Here, oh, you know? a car. It just looks like tetanus. Let me get a good Don't worry about it. You're you're totally vaccinated against tetanus, yeah, right? Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. It's cool. It's a car. It's like old stuff here as well. Funky old stuff. Anyways. Oh no, the Tesla mimic. <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? It's just a mimic that goes around eating Teslas until it looks like a Tesla. Didn't they say that mimics that eat a lot start to look more and more like humans? Yeah, but they still can't cover up their underlying biology, right? They still have those long fingers. And those big, dumb eyeballs. For the love of God, can somebody eat him? I'm bored! Yeah, too much, too much walking! Not enough being eaten by monsters! Oh, part now. I'm gonna drink some water. Yeah, we're close. The trailer should be right up ahead. There's not enough death and destruction. I'm waiting here. This is where everyone was. Everyone? There's no one here now, though. Who's uh, everyone? No building in sight. Huh? Except like way over there. But there's no one here. It's the strangest thing. My fingers are long, and I am more than six feet six feet tall. Joe, Joe's a mimic. Stay away from Joe. <laughs> Yuko, can you describe taste? It's like smelling, but more physical. Right yeah. More yeah. intimate smelling. <laughs> okay. So you you take the camera and. The Yuka, you like Dunkin' Donuts? I've never had Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, we don't have Dunkin' Donuts here. We have Krispy Kreme though. I like Krispy Kreme. Mmm, yummy. Although I feel like their shakes are a little too sweet for me. Like a barf bag. Barf bag? Alright, give me a second. And... She okay? Your mama's a mimic. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? Why confidential? Can you just get eaten already? So true. Man, the girlfriend knows how to point the camera and flashlight and stuff rather at the floor. That's why he brought her along, so she could do the filming. <laughs> oh, hold on, I should be listening to this. Wait a minute, he's explaining stuff. He's giving expo expositions. like a kid who came back from school to his trailer and his dad was found dead and it was a, a really grisly scene. He made sure to emphasize that it was really grisly. He said it like four times. Okay, so basically, um... People were like curious about it, and so they started like coming, coming around to check it, check it out. And there were like police guys, and they were like, "No, you can't come check this out. You can't come check this out." And then they just did a cover-up story, and they were like, "Oh yeah, he, it was a suicide. It, it wasn't, it wasn't any kind of homicide. There wasn't anything spooky happening. He just, he just, he just suicided. Yes." And then everyone moved away. You can turn it up. It's the highest it'll go. Suicide. But witnesses 
that did catch an eye of what happened, saying the scene was much too grisly to do that. But, police haven't come out about anything yet. But apparently the scene was much too grisly to be a suicide. Alright, it was too grisly. It was just very grisly, alright? Everyone who saw it agrees that the scene was very grisly. It was, it was a very grisly scene. I'm done now. He said grizzly way too much. What? It was grizzly. It was very grizzly. Yes, it was a painfully grizzly. Way too much. Okay, that's why we're here. Apparently, he's here to investigate the moida. Too much? Yeah. Okay, should I retry? Uh. A bit grizzly okay. <laughs> stuff. Pause. That one turned out alright, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why is it rolling? You guys missed it. How was the scene described again? Um, it was, uh, it was, I think, uh, I, I didn't really pick it up very well, but, you know, I, I think it was described as very grisly. Did you catch that? Oh, 30 minutes to film, and yet, I needed someone to film. Alright. No hard feelings, okay? Okay. Even girlfriend knows. <laughs> Even girlfriend knows. She knows. Why do you want that? What is wrong with you? He was like, that was the perfect time for a serial killer to come grab us. Cut it out. Fair enough as is. Yeah, shut up, Steve. Chris? Chris? Are you? We've lost Chris. Chris! Come on! This isn't funny! Uh oh. Chris! Chris? I just wanna go home, come on! Chris Pratt was the mimic all along. <laughs> oh my god, Chris Pratt voices the mimic! I'm going home without you. I'm cold, tired, and hungry. Yes! You wanna stay out here and play games? You tell him, boss babe. Go home. Oh, thank goodness the thing got him! <laughs> Here we go, the spookies begin. Oh my god, is it done yet? No, it's still going. We're still here. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer? She should be running right now. But like, she doesn't know. She just thinks Chris is being a dickhead. Behind you, Yuko. There's nothing behind me. Stop it. Behind you. You should check behind you. I see something over there. Mm. Right there. Can you not see it? It's right there. It's right there. Right there. Nice try, Yuko. You can't see us. How do you know that, huh? How do you know that? Chris? What are you doing? Chris, this isn't funny. Oh! 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 Oh, fuck! anymore. I'm okay now. <laughs> this, this costume is a little bit goofy. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better if they just censored the whole thing and just had her going, Oh my god! What the fuck is that? And then running. And like having the noise. <laughs> this, this, this is a little immersion breaking. I'm sorry. 
Wouldn't you scream if you saw that in the forest at night? I mean, I wouldn't be in the forest at night, number one. But number two, and also number two, we don't really have forests. <laughs> number three, number three, it's so goofy though. It looks like it would die if I just chopped it on the forehead really hard. <laughs> Is that Chris? That looks like it might be Chris though. Thank you, Kuro Mythos, for the 14 months and the free super chat, free super chat. Arigato, so the scene was very grisly. By the way, Yuko's the mimic voter off. Ha! Huh? I'm not the mimic, how dare you! <laughs> My immersion is too goofy. <laughs> run, ma'am, run! Run! Da na 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 Yeah, screaming good! Scream more! Ooh. Finally, some action! <laughs> Did she trip? She trip? No, no, she's okay. She's on the concrete now. She's running like she's in a Resident Evil game. Why is she still filming? Oh, is that home? Wow! It was a lot less far than I thought it was. <laughs> oh no! Oh wait, is the girl the, the person from the film? Is this how she? Is this how the mimic got inside her house? And like she went, in, she ended up in the closet. Oh. oh, it is. My ears! Stop it! Loud noise didn't, does not necessarily mean scary. Thank you, Caffeine, for joining the Jelly Beans. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Um, mwah. I appreciate the effort, but it was it was pretty. Uh, it was it was the costuming was really funny. <laughs> the costuming. <laughs> All right, what we got? There was a th there was a thing, right? What is this one? What is this one? I can't read this one either. It's too it's too blurry. Wow. She really did say. Ah! For the super chat, super chat. I got the when the mimic looked up. It was about to say something. I'm here to inform you on this car's extended warrant. <laughs> Would it have been better if they just used red body paint? Yeah, probably. Red body paint and some funny glasses. Maybe. That costume was grisly. <laughs> that costume was so grisly. I don't really. It was a really grisly scene. Okay! Oh, hold on. We go back to the playlist now. Go back to the playlist. Here we are. We're back to the playlist. This is Vita Carnis, the Species Anomaly Report. Mm. We're almost done. We have like two videos left. Okay, bro straight up said, time to grizzly. <laughs> It's grizzling time, and then he grizzled all over the place. It was crazy. What's happening? More tapes. Okay, we've got more funky tapes. Let's see these funky tapes. It showed the banana boys along the with prince in a circle in a forested area. Yeah, I couldn't read it. It was illegible. In hindsight, maybe skipping that video was to play. Yeah. I mean, that was just a whole video of some, some dude just walking around. And then we just saw a funky little mimic guy, and he was just like, wah. <laughs> Thank you, Potramon, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato, man. That was a big grizzly telly to me. I feel like we're being too mean. It, honestly, it looks like the creator worked really hard on this. Mm. Anomaly documentation, Harvester. Notable population density shift discovered between the dates of 1989, August the 1st, and 1989, what is that, October the 1st? <clears throat> Maps display the charted population of harvesters' location on a monthly basis. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. 
We're getting a little goofy with the map. Oh yeah, the bulb thingies. Yeah, the bulb thingies. Oh dear. Are those mimics? Or are they campers? <laughs> the writing is nice. The prop department can't keep up neither with the costumes nor with the cooking. The damn cooking man! It haunts me to this day. Okay, hiking time. Oh! Suddenly really windy, man. Oh, are those fingers? Were those fingers right there? Did I just see fingers? I'm not gonna worry about it. Thank you, Renovolt, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato! Ten minutes of build-up for 30 seconds of terrible mimic footage. <laughs> That's okay, it's... Wait, what was that? What was that? Go back! Go back! I must see with my eyes. Okay, that's just the same map. Alright. Never mind. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, is it gonna change? Are we gonna see the October map? Oh, September. September map. Was, is it different? Yeah, move northward! Funky. The island got bigger. What island? Whoa, where? What island? Hold on. Island? Which one? Which island? I'm not seeing the island, guys. I think I may... I may be blind. Where's the island? The big island in Hudson... I'm sorry, I don't know what Hudson Bay is. In the Great Lake? It got bigger? It looks about the same size. It's moving to the island where the monoliths are. <gasps> Maybe. Wait, the Canada map! I live there! Am I a mimic? Uh-oh. No, you're a harvester. You're a fleshy egg bulb. Yuko, why do you keep saying funky? What's so funky about anything? <laughs> it's, it's, it's my it's my version of Grizzly, okay? I can't help it. Ooh. Okay, the fingers. The fingers are growing. It's windy! Oh, baby, it's so windy! Windy! So windy! Look at these... Look at these hands! Windy hands! Yuko's fingers coming to the screen to drag one and drag one of my chicken nuggies. Yeah, those are those are mine. Are those chicken nuggets? <laughs> oh no! I think that child may have died. Oh dear, that's not very good! Yeah, that kid's effed! That kid is boned for real! Ah, Jesus Christ! Ah! Jesus fucking Christ, man, is that necessary? You gotta, you gotta stop, man! Loud is not scary! Loud is just painful! That's why I hate kids. They're so loud, they're so noisy. My ears... Ah! Children! Disgusting! And it's all peaceful once again. Yay! That's a great story. September. Okay? October. Alright, they're still moving northwards. They're mo They're moving towards the lake! What's in the lake? What's up with the lake? Oh, it's upside down! They j Canada just turned into Australia, guys! Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! Me too, bro. Me every day. Me every day for real. Oh, and the mom's dead too now. Okay. So mom, mom went to save kid and mom died now too. Cool, great, love it. Pain pickle. Skull emoji, skull emoji for real. 
<laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead for real, skull emoji. Yuko, what happened? They are dead. They died. That's what happened. What happened here? I can't read this either. It looks like the prince called down a mighty plague or something. What's going on here? He's just like, oh, behold, meat tentacles. Thanks, prince. This is your fault. Dickhead. What stepping on a Lego sound like so true? <laughs> Goofy, uh. Bro, save your kid. I can't, bro. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we got Vita Carnis Flavor Enhancer commercial. Oh, heck yeah, more cooking. I'm gonna throw up. Looks like the prince is the source Flavor. of the crawl. Probably. I think so. The most crucial component to enjoying wow. a good meal. The way food tastes is what makes eating so pleasurable. Yes. But what if you could savor every little detail you could possibly want? What is this audio visualizer? Is what we, is this? At New Trier Co. Okay. Have made it so that you may enjoy every single bite you take. Yay! Is it MSG? With our product, the flavor enhancer, you can extract every last morsel of taste from your plate. Is it MSG? With overwhelming demand for this essential product, even since our start earlier Spare this us, year, Yuka. No, you have, have to watch. You have you to watch wanted. the cooking. If I have to watch now the cooking. Now introducing the flavor enhancer. <laughs> We're in this together. Now packaged in a larger size and modified recipe, there is wow. now even more savory goodness to go around. More MSG. I fucking since love it. our debut in mid 1990s. Is it the the spores? Oh my god, it could be the spores. Be You're right. With our product flying off the shelves. The Flavor Enhancer Deluxe will allow us to satisfy your growing. You're right, needs. it could be the spores. This now could be a conspiracy. Now allowing to add even more enhancer to your dinner, making your food even better to enjoy. And, but it really does do the like cheese powder. I want to eat cheese powder. Available on shelves now. New Trier Co. Experience True Savor. Oh! Empty. Okay. These larger serving sizes make dining even more pleasant, now allowing more generous amounts of enhancer at a time. Yay! Flavor enhancer deluxe. Okay, can we get cheese powder? Now, I want cheese powder. I could go for some cheese powder right now. Just like straight from the straight from the Parmesan dis distributor. Make your taste buds pop with the new deluxe size. Make tasting even more awesome. Well, your kids with this essential part of every meal. Free tinnitus, yay! Bread! Flavor enhancer deluxe. Why do they sound more tired or they're tired or tired or? Oh, the demonic whisperings are here. Oh, 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 oh. I think it is the spores. I think you're right. Oh, watch out! The bomb's gonna explode. Okay, what was this one? Can I read this one? I would like it if I can read this one. That would make me happy. The prince gathered what he could and then set sail onwards. Once the prince returns home, they will come back to the island and return to the critters. They? Okay. Thank you, Manila, for the super chat. Super chat. I already got the one from home cooked meal to college student. For real, for real. <laughs> yeah. You guys can't hear the demonic whispers. Can you recreate them? Um. Flavor Enhancer Deluxe. Flavor Enhancer Deluxe. Deluxe. Cheese powder. Cheese powder. Mm, MSG. Yum. Make your food go yum yum in your dum dum. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. You know you want the Flavor Deluxe. Wow. I think that's 
that's what they were saying, right? Anyways, this one is called Uncovered Documents, and it's an unlisted video. So we're getting into the secret, secret stuff right now. The secret, secret stuff. Ants. Flavor saver. Ants. The new flavor, new, newly rebranded product from New Trier Co. is an instant hit with record sales. Wow. Confidential info. Files confiscated are not yet released to public. Okay, so these are secret docs. Alright, let's go. Ant. Oh yeah, baby, check out that thorax. New Trier Scandal. New Trier Co. is facing charges after numerous reports of sickness after consumption of their product. The flavor enhancers only statement made from the company so far are dismissing any issues and that their product is safe to consume. Huh. Ants are the secret ingredient. No, not ants! I can't believe it. They've been making us eat ants? Gross. Yuck, no wonder people are getting sick. It's a formic acid. Ew! Alright, who's this goon? What was that? What was that? What were you trying to make me focus on? What kind of funky symbol was that? Dun, 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 dun. Triangle! I see. Beware of red triangle! Ant. Cordyceps. Cordyceps. So it is a spore. It's a spore. They're alluding to it being a spore. Okay, so... Is it a thing where, like, they're trying to, like... Is this the cult activity they mentioned? This is the cult activity that they mentioned, I think. The symbol is like a sign that they're in... They're in the cult, right? They're the symbol on the prince's flag. Oh! Oh, okay, so... Oh, so the prince... The prince's storybook is a cult. Maybe the storybook was made for, like, indoctrinating children as well. What is that? What are those? What are... What are those? That looks almost like a funky kidney. What is a hairy thing? What is that? Is that like a bean? Is that a piece of crawl? Eyelashes? Oh, that's the cordyceps. Oh, that's not a cordyceps, that's a plant. Okay. It's different. Okay, so it's happening to people's skulls. Is that what I'm seeing here? They're growing plants out of their noggins. Um, the Private Organization of Containment and Research Consult Association Society, the Carcass, has been... <laughs> sorry, the carcass! Sorry, I didn't mean to say carc ass! I didn't mean that! Has been experiencing backlash from government agencies about co-op... Co mm, corporations and violation of newly introduced policies of... Okay, so carc ass is having issues with corporations. Vine boom. <laughs> New log. Me when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Me mess message to bro learn touch typing. You suck to cark ass. Carcass. Oh wait, that's it. That's it. It's, it's over. Okay, cool. Yay! So it's the Last of Us. That's cool, funky, right? We need more lore. Yuka dot dot dot. <laughs> Cark ass. <laughs> Anyways, this is the last video for now, I think. So let's let's watch this. It's only three minutes long. Don't worry, we're almost done. We're almost through. And then you'll be caught up on the Vita Carnis lore. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The funky counter win. No, please don't count them. Please don't count the amount of times I say funky. It's my coping mechanism. It makes me feel less scared. <laughs> Alright. Vita Carnus message. That's the title.
Is it Vita or Vita? Because I know Vita. Some people say vitamins, some people say vitamins, some, pe some people say like... Vitamin? What do you- How do you say- How do you say Vita? Is it Vita or Vita? What do you- oh, Viva, Viva La Vita. P.S. Vita? What? Idiots gave away that heat kills the spores in the commercial. Yeah! Here's an argument for taking really warm showers. <laughs> Fuck you cold shower havers, you guys are insane! On the distant horizon, the group of monoliths stand vacant. What is this David Attenborough? Holy shit! Although closed off to outsiders, their stance can be observed well outside the perimeter. Oh! You log a message to Carcass! It is known to have hundreds of thousands of fibers that weave themselves deep underground, all connected in a grand mycelial network. Wow, my seal like a fungus. Uh oh. Oh no. Carcass. Do I? I have. Oh, oh yeah. I guess we do. Who's that? Oh, that's Chris! Janice! Oh, they were married! They weren't boyfriend-girlfriend, they were wife-husband! Oops! Yeah, what the fuck is up with the government, anyway? <gasps> Who's they? I still don't understand the weird rotting banana thing. Oh. Hey, yo, anybody in Canada? <laughs> anybody in Canada want to hang out in this island for no particular reason? Just to like find out something maybe? Okay, ribcage. Wow, I do? Oh, spoopy! The island isn't real. <gasps> There's no island? Whoa! The government are hiding the island from you. Go Canadians, find the truth! <laughs> the monoliths are truly an astonishing sight to behold. Oh. For once it wasn't Ohio's fault. Yeah, it was Canada's fault. What the fuck, Canada? Why did you release cosmic horrors upon the world? That's kind of fucked up. I expect at least two sorries. What was happening? Whoa! Oh, oh! Something is ripped. Is it my sanity? Has it finally gone? Have I lost it? I've lost my final shred of sanity. There it is. It's gone. It was to show off against Ohio. <laughs> Why did you have to show off against Ohio? Look at what you've done! Look at what you've done! I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was a bag of chips. Oh, I see. Man, I kind of want to eat that a bag of chips right now, actually. I'm kind of hungry after all that. You know, something about horror it just makes me really hungry. I wonder what other people have to say about this. Let's go to the chat screen, chat screen so I can just stare at some... I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let me turn this off. Alright, I'm back. What's up? Alright. Back in proper lighting. Let's go. I turned my ring light on. So yeah! 
I'm gonna look at the comments now. Let's see what other people think. Because I'm not smart enough to think about this myself. <clears throat> Alright, we've got... Uh, we've got a theory from this person. They're called Lyconic. They had, they're one of the top voted comments, so they better have a good theory. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, you better have a good theory, Lyconic. <clears throat> My theory, after marathoning this lovely series so far concerning the Prince Story clippings at least, it sounds like the critters are supposed to be just that, woodland critters. They lived on the small island in the bay and for one reason or another, uh, we're in a time of famine, most likely caused by humans and their impact on the environment. Somehow, and for some reason, they stumbled across the prince and gave him food. Maybe animals storing food in the cave, meaning to make it a new den, and then the prince unconsciously consumed some of it. It might mean the prince is similarly non-humanoid, possibly a tendril of, or an ooze-based creature, for it to be able to consume things unconsciously. Awakening from its own hibernation of thoughts of sorts, the prince somehow communicated with the animals and decided that the best way to help them was to turn the bane of their existence, humans, into a food source. And as such, selected champions from the critters of the island, or maybe just all of them, to become the first Vita Carnus, and they've spread from there, feasting on primarily humans across all their forms. The crawl serves as a method of reproduction and increasing plant growth for other animals to eat. The trimmings are their spies, the meat snakes consume carrion, because every healthy ecosystem needs something that eats dead stuff, um, mimics are the main consumers and serve as their secret infantry in the war against the human race, harvesters are again consumers and also create safe havens for other animals aside from the larger ones like deer or coyotes, but we can assume this is some sort of accidental thing since the crawl uh, they spawn are from are basically meat plants with little sentient. The hosts allow for massive long-range infection killing of humans who somehow evade the mimics and harvesters and monoliths protect the prince and and his family where they now reside on the island in the bay in eternal thanks for granting the Karnas their power or even to protect them from whatever magic is giving this power to combat and consume the human race uh, so it cannot be interrupted or stopped. A funky theory. My eyes are burning. <laughs> I, don't, I stared at the text for so long that there's now lines across my vision. It looks like there's like everything's in shutter light. You know, when the shutters are slightly open, there's just like lines of light. Everything looks like that now. I broke my eyeballs. I broke my eyeballs. Oh no. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. That that. No wonder it's top voted. No wonder it's top voted. My brain is dying. Would you like a summary? Would you like a quick summary? Basically, animals bad, humans bad, make animals sad. Animals feed the prince, who is apparently like a cosmic horror or something, and the prince is like, all right, I kill humans for you. And so the prince turns some of the animals into human destroying things. And then they destroy the humans. Yeah! Thank you, that one dead guy, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato! If you do another analog horror watch along, I suggest the Monument Mythos. It's a goofy and sometimes spooky one that is pretty good. Season 3 is out now, too. Ah! Okay! Thank you for the recommendation. I will get into that. This is pretty fun. Did you guys like this series? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Mm. So I can tell what you guys prefer me doing on my channel. This is really fun. I, I got a little scared. Like the first Mimic video, that was pretty spooky. I, I hated that. I cried. For real. That was so scary. <laughs> but yeah, let's do this again sometime. Hmm. You should watch more analog horror stuff sparingly. Yeah, maybe sparingly so it doesn't it doesn't lose its effect. Wendigoon's analysis of monument mythos is iconic. I used to listen to Wendigoon a lot actually. He's he's really interesting. He's He's what got me into analog horror, I guess. Cause he brought me into like the mystery flesh pit and I was like, Hey yo, that's fucking cool. That's so cool. Maybe, maybe we should try making one. Let's try making an analog horror story. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Thank you, new PTFO for the super chat, super chat. Arigato! This is technically my first stream, so thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for, for watching this series with me and, and, and crying and freaking out and laughing. <laughs> I feel like I've gone through all of the emotions today, so let's, let's call it a day for now. Bye bye everyone! Thank you so much for coming to stream today. I will catch you guys next time. Um -mwah! Da -da. See you next time everybody! Bye bye! Wah!
Pong for the Super Chat, Super Chat, and I got the creator, Darian. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Quilloy? Has a Twitter page where he posts more detail to art of his creations. I highly recommend you check it out. Alright, guys, don't forget to check out Darian Quilloy's Twitter page, guys, for more, for more illustrations and cool stuff.